started. Mm -hmm. All right, we should be set to go. <clears throat> Unfortunately, for some reason, Retroarch is being a big dummy right now, so I can't check the sound while the thing's going like I usually do. But oh, no. screw it, I'll figure it out in, like, you know, a later date. My god. So, okay. who's ready to potentially take out their our blood knight problem? <laughs> our, our blood problem will be destroyed. We will no longer have the blood. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> we're we're going to look over and power from chainsaw man will have disappeared no more oh blood God. for anyone but i need my blood <laughs> not anymore you don't <laughs> this is I, I, mean. <laughs> I did know digimon world 2 was a was an embraid game <laughs> it, it is, is now <laughs> Yo, know, if anything, this would make it less of raid because if there's no blood, there's no violence, right? That that's exactly. how it works, isn't it? Everyone just yes. falls over and like passes out, and it's like, well, that's the blood, so it's okay. You telling me that's not how it works? All right, so should we get the game going? Let's mm -hmm. do this. Man, Chainsaw Man's so up and good, though. Yeah. I, was put <laughs> I was putting together a desk yesterday and I had nothing better to do while well, I had my phone beside me, so I put on the first episode of The Boys. It's pretty good. Oh, dang. I, I can't believe yeah. the big takeaway from this playthrough is we're getting everyone in our friends group to watch The Boys. <laughs> yeah, you convinced me to watch The Boys. <laughs> Crap, I... Yeah. Hopefully the volume's okay. It sounds a bit high. Just... I'll check it out on the screen. I'll just get a high on yeah, if, if it sounds good, I'll believe you, but like, ah, eh, no, it seems a bit off. Unfortunately, because OBS is being a bit of, like, a, like, goober, I can't, you know? Ah, <laughs> uh, come on, just say it's being a bitch if it's being a bitch. <laughs> no, I'm trying to say it in a way that would be funny and or endearing to some extent. <laughs> 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 it's, it's being a naughty goober over there. <laughs> right, last time we tried the Coliseum and it went horribly. And then we right, did yeah. like Resident Evil for like a week straight and I nearly passed out and like just died. That's, uh, I played my favorite one too. Yeah, six. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> now we played through four. I uh, know. Yeah. Uh, I was just, I just like pointing out that uh, I just not my favorite game, and everybody gives me shit for it. Well, you mean Resident Evil Four isn't the best game ever? It honestly is pretty good. I actually did like it a lot. No, I have no pro, I have no problem with people liking it. I just don't like it that much, and I get a lot of grief for it. <laughs> I. I am wondering, like, why, right? That's that's also, like, a thing that I get grief for, is because I just... I don't like any of the story of 4. <laughs> like, it really never caught me. I also never really liked Leon as a character, but yeah. that's me. I, I feel like 4 is... Like, it's not really much of a story experience, is it? It's like... You go in and it's like, oh yeah, there's the bad guys, start blasting, and it's just a yeah. big arcade shooting gallery, basically. It's, it's, and don't get me wrong, because I have beaten it, and I quite enjoy the, how the gameplay works. Yeah. And I, I like how, like, in the, the Resident Evil remake and, and the for 3 and 2, how they have the over the shoulder, just like 4 had. That's a great gameplay to style, it's just I never liked 4, I don't know why. Yeah. yeah. Oh. Honestly, I've always thought that Resident Evil worked great as a third-person shooter. 
<laughs> it also works pretty good as a first person. Yeah. Wait, you wow, need to so... summon the rest of this because level was good. <laughs> so, okay, yeah, no, this music is okay. right. <laughs> what is going on? Oh, we're in code domain now. <laughs> Stuff's getting serious. <laughs> oh, dear. As we uh, hunt for this so-called Red October. <laughs> so, who do we I'm want welcome. in our Digiline? Only one cannoli? Do we want Magna Angemon, Moxley the King? We should probably level up only one cannoli. We need only one cannoli to be leveled up because he's got a lot of our powerful moves locked away underneath him. So We're do we go... Like... Then we want Moxley, of course. <laughs> yeah, you know, um... Would it make sense to have two of our stronger guys go with... Uh, I was about to say Tentamon, but that's just because it's right in front of my face. Club. Uh, we we have oh, oh, only one cannoli. So I'm saying only one cannoli. Um, Moxley, he's pretty tanky. Yeah, Moxley's and pretty good. I'm not sure who to pick between the king and Magna Angemon. Do we want a healer or someone who can do damage? I mean, it would be good to have a healer, but I mean, it, I feel like right now, if, if uh, only one, if he gets hit by anything, uh, he's just gonna go, go down. So, what's the point of healing? What do you think, Peter? You, use your brain. The king or Magna Angemon? I. Alright, baby, let's go with the king. <laughs> okay, let's do it. <laughs> Hopefully, we can survive a single attack. Mm, yep. Uh, I forgot my mic was fucking muted. Oh, yeah, God, we were waiting for you to say something. <laughs> you thought you were right just as keeping I said, right quiet, as we get so in. like... Side note, how's the sound? Uh, when I was looking on the stream, it sounded pretty good. Like, uh... The only thing is, is that I can't tell how I sound because... Uh, if I hear my voice, it sounds weird to me, so I wasn't <laughs> speaking. Okay, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Save us, only one cannoli. You're our only hope. <laughs> only one cannoli. That's impossible. <laughs> 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 no one can have only one cannoli. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. I did do some research here. Alright, yeah. After his fight, I am gonna turn this down a little bit. I, I don't trust how this feels. This feels like it's gonna be high, you know? Yeah, I can... Wait, I... No, Rod's targeted. Alright, it's fine. I was like, wait, what well, if this accidentally hits Raremon? But no, that's only Thunderball that's random. Okay, so far so good. Yeah, we're taking very little damage. Oh yeah, we are more than prepared enough for this. Yeah. And let's right, just well, I, pummel back new one, yeah. I can hear you guys over the music. Okay. So... That's a good sign. That oh, is a good sign, so... Okay, Agumon actually didn't take much at all. Holy crap, we might just be good for this. Oh, I fucking hate my voice. Only one cannoli is a beast. Only one cannoli! Um. Oh my. I've heard my voice through recordings, so I know what my voice sounds like. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I know what my voice sounds like, I just don't like it. <laughs> yeah, your voice sounds like an angel. I mean, wait, what? 
Okay. Don't say you're good. That bright one always sounds like a fucking angel. <laughs> oh man. The oh, voice of an angel. <laughs> <laughs> you just hear like horrific, like screeching in the background. Yeah. <laughs> just like, just screeching coming from all directions. And it's like, <laughs> be not afraid. <laughs> it's constant that. <laughs> I sing like an angel. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's the whole entire thing about like the whole biblically accurate angels thing is true. The end of days are gonna go something. Are gonna, not the end of days, but if Jesus returns with angels, people are gonna react very differently. <laughs> oh yeah, it's gonna be like just insanity. All right, hang on a sec. <laughs> Volume mixer, yes. I'm not gonna be too surprised. I'm gonna be like, nah, I guess. It's Let's kind of how this I imagined down it. To two, I guess. All right, that's our yeah. A giant squid monster coming down from the sky, and it's like I'm Jesus, and I'm like I knew it. <laughs> Damn it! How'd we never know? <laughs> eh, should we farm just for the experience? I think. Yeah, might as well. I mean, uh, we maybe. Gotta get, uh... I just say we gotta get Cannoli up to a, a level, so we gotta get him up, so we might as well. Yeah, but I'm thinking about our other two boys taking a bunch of damage for no reason. Eh, don't worry about them. They'll be fine. They're tough. I was gonna say, yeah, don't worry about Moxley or King. <laughs> also, yeah, we got no Scissor <laughs> Magic back. Heck yeah. Ha, scissor Magic! The magic of scissors. Scissor magic. The magic of scissoring. <laughs> Man, I just realized we were making that joke before Gundam the Witch from Mercury is out, and now there is literally like a lesbian character that everyone is calling a witch. And she drives <laughs> something that is comparable to a tank. <laughs> Awesome. Is, is that not the epitome of scissor magic? Uh, is the epitome of scissor magic? Is, is the Air Gundam Ariel <laughs> just like scissor magic incarnate, even though it uses a shield and not like a sword? I feel like that, that should be on like the flag of every like <laughs> super like feminist warrior or whatever. Scissor magic. <laughs> No, just, just like a lesbian in a tank. <laughs> it should just be that girl from Witch from Mercury. <laughs> it's, yeah. it's just literally her. It's just her. It's just her, like, spazzing out and stuttering. <laughs> Jeez, I had to, like, watch the most recent episode. I'm behind on that show. <laughs> <laughs> like every week an episode just comes out and there's like a fresh new batch of weird memes uh oh <laughs> cause it's like the current meme is that like she keeps accidentally just stumbling into like marriage proposals huh <laughs> yeah cause which the... one is this again yeah the witch from mercury the new <laughs> okay, one okay yeah because <laughs> it's like, the, I don't know if I mentioned this yet, but it's like the plot is that like she goes to a school for mech pilots and there's like, you know, a guy who's like dueling a woman over like, you know, forcing her hand into like an arranged marriage or whatever. <laughs> and it's like the main girl interferes and wins the duel to like help out. And the guy's like, Welp, oh, wins. No, wait, no, Rod. It's like, she wins the duel to help out, and she, like, you know, wins the battle. And it's like, because she won the duel, she gains the arranged marriage to the girl. <laughs> and, you know, the, like, our girl's like, all right, Welp, I guess, you know, like, you're gonna be my groom then. And, you know, Sultas just what? like, wait, what? 
And yeah. she's like, oh, right, I forgot. You people from Mercury aren't nearly as progressive, are you? <laughs> yeah. Straight up. <laughs> <laughs> and like the guy she beats gets really frustrated and he wants a rematch and they like have a whole thing where you know they have a whole cool like character arc or whatever like he has a whole thing about like you know going against his father or whatever it's, it's a whole involved thing and she like <laughs> beats him again just barely <laughs> and he's like Oh, okay, he's like, oh yeah, Sultana, will you marry me for winning the Gundam fight? And she's like, wait, what? <laughs> <laughs> and it's like, we are just slowly oh. collecting suitors like we're collecting Pokemon cards. It's wild. <laughs> nice. It's the way it's done. <laughs> it's the way it do. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's the way you gotta be like that guy from, uh... The, the Sister Wives show. Just collected women. <laughs> Man. It's like we're slowly forming a reverse harem, and it's kind of great. Like, uh, yeah, I mean, like, hey, the, the, all, all, equal, all, all included. So, like, yeah, the fact that it's all accidental just makes it even better. <laughs> Guys, girls, <laughs> everything in between. <laughs> I should, like, I should mention this girl's a freaking train wreck. She's, like, a nervous wreck. She's constantly stuttering and afraid to talk to people. There is a bit where she, like, someone just shows her a goat and she freaks out. And she's like, what the crap is that thing? <laughs> Sounds like me. <laughs> oh, I love it. Right, there's that and the other big meme is that there's a bit where some bullies are just like screwing with her test and like picking on her and stuff. And you just like, there's the side characters, there's like Choo Choo or some crap. And it's like this, you know, little girl with the like pink hair and these two pink like puffball afros coming off of her head like little pigtails or something but they're like huge they're like the size of her face oh so she has uh, afro puffs <laughs> yeah and she just <laughs> like Mickey just walks up to one of the bullies just fucking like just rears back and nails them just clocks them they're out they're just out on the floor <laughs> Just starts a whole, like, fist fight. <laughs> it's like, yo, know, people are, like, freak out. Yo, know, people are trying to hold them back. Yo, know, she gets loose. It is a first-person shot from, like, the bully's perspective. Her first, like, yo, know, going and rearing back, just bam. <laughs> 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 so people have been making all kinds of, like, memes of that. There's, like, yo... Know, there's memes of just her just reaching up with her hands, like, pulling the afros off and using them as boxing gloves. <laughs> <laughs> There's, like, memes of her, like, training at the gym to, like, fight people. <laughs> La Narpa of that show, you just see, you know, she's in the Gundam, so she's wearing, like, you know, like, an astronaut's little, like, head thing over her head, you know? And there's all kinds of stuff out like, wait, how does this work? Where does the, like, hair puffs go? <laughs> there's, like, jokes about, like, oh, well, she just takes them off and just puts them down and then puts the thing on. <laughs> well, that makes sense. Yeah. Oh, uh, there's one I really like where it's like, yo, it's Buddy. like... Yeah, it's freaking Master Asia from G Gundam. And he's like, yo, just dodging all confidently, like, oh, there's no way you'll be able to even touch me. And he just takes a punch to the face and, like, you know, cuts over and shows that it's, like, Choo Choo doing it. Like, <laughs> Afro Girl. <laughs> <laughs> and she yeah. it's just like her face like over the freaking like burning Gundam just beating the crap out of his mech. 
Reminds me of some of those like Sasuke memes where it just had like everybody choking Sasuke. Yeah. <laughs> oh, there's some good stuff. It's it's been good. I I think the there's like some other meme where it's like so Sultan is like the main girl and you have like the side girl she's like engaged to that's like Marriott or something or Mirio or something like that. Minot, something like that, whatever. It's like, you see her room for, like, a scene, and it's, like, a freaking wreck. It's, like, a train wreck. It's, like, horrible. <laughs> like, she's just got, like, bags of trash everywhere and crap. There's <laughs> just, like, memes out, like, yo, oh, yeah, it's Sultan just sort of, like, walks into her room and just stares in, like, sheer horror. <laughs> <laughs> I think the last one is it's just like I apparently the guy gone to another duel and like lost again <laughs> and it's just like yo him just like just as a kid like crying and he's got like broken toys for all three of his mechs cause each time he has to get a new one these things are just done <laughs> <laughs> oh man, it's it's been going. It's been going. <laughs> Somehow this show has been more memed on than freaking Chainsaw Man of all things, which is wild. <laughs> Oh, you there, Faustus? Probably not. I think I heard Sonic yeah. probably muted, yeah. That sounds like a fairly interesting show. Yeah, it's it's been a fun ride so far. <laughs> Gotta, like, you know, uncover the truth of the Gundams. I have no idea where the heck the plot's going. It's just going. It's just going wherever it wants to right now. <laughs> Where are we going? I don't fucking know. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, usually in these shows, there's like a clear premise or objective. Like, you know, it's like, oh, there's like a war going on. Or like, hey, the main characters are doing this crazy thing or something. And this is just like, now nah, we're at school and stuff is just happening. And there's, like, political stuff going on with the corporations, but who knows where that's even leading off to. It's it's just kind of doing whatever. <laughs> yeah. Or, um... Shit, I forgot about what I was gonna mention. <laughs> Shit. Do we have to, like, yo, know, get a princess and, like, help escort her back to Earth while becoming Mercy? Nah, it's, it's just, yo, know, going. Yeah, it's just going off in any direction it places. It just vibing. <laughs> it just vibing. Yeah, it's Fascinating. Just... Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hey, Faustus. Hello. Hi, Return. I should also probably mention, I have, like, I am trying to catch up on Yurusei Yatsura, the, the show with freaking Tiger Skin Bikini Girl, the classic oh, 80s, uh, yeah, rom-com character everyone knows, but no one knows what's from. What? Yeah. Is it made or girl <laughs> something, but I've been seeing a lot of memes regarding it. Yeah, this this show has done something crazy that I never expected, like, one well, of the first, like, rom-com harem series ever to just do. <laughs> Which is that it has evolved beyond the love triangle, and has introduced the love square, I shit you not. <laughs> okay, that makes sense. We have aired a point where it's like, guy A likes girl B, girl B likes guy C, guy C likes girl D, and girl D likes guy A. 
<laughs> we have made a complete rotation, and there is no escaping the cycle. <laughs> Man, I don't think I've seen Ogron ever actually use a physical attack in this game. That's wild. Yeah. Well, I kind of like the, um... At least it's kind of good, though, that we have another mainly physical attacker. Yeah. Oh, in this game, there is no physical or special attack. It's just whatever. Yeah. There is only the attack stat. Oh, hey, we finally get this stuff. Holy crap. Ooh. Foes can't use power techniques. Oh, that sounds nice. That sounds useful. Foes can't recover HP. We've seen how good that is. Attack with Iron Drill, use Foes and Pia Car. Heck yeah, let's do this. Didn't we get hit with Concert Crush and took away all our good skills? Yeah, I think we did in the Coliseum and it just. Yeah, it just did a number on our full Moxley. So we could potentially yeah, just... just straight up like freeze people with this. Yeah. <laughs> Dang. Okay, well, let's do this. Man, yeah, what that I should mention is it's like they introduced a new character. Uh, they introduced another guy. Really fun gimmick on this dude. <laughs> like, holy crap, this is a surprisingly solid episode. Where it's just, what, what's going? What's going on? I. <laughs> I would like to be able to hear what you're talking about, man, but I can't seem to hear over this noise. <laughs> man, there's just a whole gig where a dude's like, he's like, yo, this like spoiled, like rich prep guy who just comes in and all the girls are all over her. And he's like a massive ladies man and stuff. And it's like that whole trope. But his whole gimmick is that he's only cool when girls are looking. Like, physically. <laughs> there is a bit where they go into a cave and he's like, they get separated from the girls, and he's like, oh no, damn it. I have, like, nymphophobia and claustrophobia. I can't take this. And he's like, oh man, I'm only brave when girls are looking at me. Just specifically. I mean, it's not that bad of a power to have. It's pretty good as a power, but holy crap. Is it very, like, based on something that you specifically need? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> All I know is they like reunite with the girls and the main guy literally just covers their eyes and the rich guy just starts like freaking out and he's like, oh, it's dark, it's scary. And he just uncars them he's like, all right, we should find a way out of this place. And he just keep doing it back and forth. <laughs> <laughs> the girls were like, oh yeah, I don't know why you keep covering her eyes like this, but I thought I heard someone screaming. <laughs> Must have been my imagination. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so that series is going. That's that's going. <laughs> Fascinating. Also, yeah, this guy's screwed. There's like, yeah, there's nothing I can do. Ah, oh, yeah. poor Ice Man. Man. <laughs> Concert crush. Yo. Heck yeah. Oh, thank you, baby. Thank you. Thank you very much. <laughs> Man, I still can't believe there's like an episode of Digimon Frontier where the game get attacked by a freaking like random ice <laughs> Devimon that pops out literally out of nowhere in the middle of the final battle against the big bat of the arc and he's voiced by Christopher Walken, and it's the dumbest episode in the series. But it's also the best because Christopher Walken. <laughs> I should I should reframe that. It's not actually Christopher Walken, it's a guy doing a voice. I know, it's still, a guy yeah. doing a Christopher Walken impression. You guys, come on! It's crazy. I'm gonna eat all you Digimon! 
<laughs> wow, look at all these Digimon. I'm going to eat them. <laughs> it's like we're literally like fighting wow. the final boss and this random champion shows up and it's like, oh no, he's so strong, we're powerless against him, he's too powerful. <laughs> yeah. I'm always gonna remember the uh, the story that Nolan North told about uh, the time that he met Christopher Walken. And uh, apparently Christopher Walken turns to him because Nolan North was a, a, a what, do you, what do you call it? An extra in a, in a film with him. And he turns to him at one point and he goes, You know, dinosaurs, they were here. Now they're not. <laughs> no, that's Dinosaurs. not true. They're, they're still around. They're birds. <laughs> no, dinosaurs. They were here. Now they're not. Birds are just dinosaurs, but less big. <laughs> and without tea. <laughs> I just, just imagine, like, you finally get the chance to meet Christopher Walken. It's your first time ever. Sit beside him on, like, this bus, and you're going down to, like, this film shoot. Sit beside him the entire time. Just kind of looking out the window, and then eventually he turns to you out of, out of the blue, and it's just like, wow, dinosaurs, they used to be here. Never not. <laughs> oh, that's crazy. <laughs> How can mirrors be real when our eyes don't exist? Oh my god. Shut up, Jaden Smith. <laughs> Get out of here, Jaden. We don't want you. Should we do Neo Yokio for anime night? <laughs> <laughs> yes, we should, because that anime has to be fucking interesting. <laughs> have, you, have you seen its fucking English dubcast? Yes. I know Gene Smith is the big person that's there, but they got some big names for it. <laughs> I remember an episode where you see a girl who is like constantly jogging and stuff and like exercising with her cat. And the big end of episode twist is that she is revealed to be a ghost that's like a floating skull. Like, they do the Team Rocket thing where they, like, pull off the outfit and there's just a flying skull there and it makes no sense at all. <laughs> oh, yeah, this is what I was going to mention. So, um, against my stupidity, I decided to restart Tony Hawk's Project Date on the PlayStation 2. <laughs> okay. Uh -huh. And one of the quotes I said after I made my character, which by the way, I decided to name the character Gleb because I couldn't think of any better names. <laughs> right, we heard that story. Yeah, that's the legit of that name. <laughs> and one of the first things I said once I started working, I was like, yes, I'm performing all these six tricks for these bitches and bros and non binary hosts. <laughs> so the do we... Gave the infinity. <laughs> so do we take the mine hit, or do we try and like go around it and avoid the fight? As do we say, take the mine and avoid the fight, or do we go around and we fight the dude? Well, if we hit the mine, we could lose something essential. <laughs> Damn it, I didn't mean to do that. Oh, shooter guns not working now. Well, that's cool, not a big that deal. Good. I was gonna say, cool, now we can't shoot heels. It's good. Yeah, good. it's fine. Don't it's worry good. about it. Oh, hey, Taramon. Hey, what's Just up, straight big up. Guy? What's up, bro? How you doing, bro? I Just swear I was trying like, hey. to move diagonal. <laughs> it's all your fault. Oh, man. All right, well, let's do this then. Um, uh, Kron, Tyram, or who do we attack first? Oh, um. Uh. Mm, what? Uh, mm. uh, let's kill Shelmon. He's the ugliest. <laughs> okay, done. That's so mean. 
let's just, yeah, Tyramon, you'll be second. <laughs> we'll try and, like, play in this habit. I think we can take him down with two attacks. Think our guys are tough enough to do that? I, I think we might be able to do it. Yeah, that seems, like, doable. Concert also, crush. Yeah. Also, thank you, you two, for suggesting me the Andy T the Andy THPS channel because I've been on a kick of watching his videos. <laughs> oh boy, <laughs> YouTube. It's not like. <laughs> it's not like. For those of you wondering who he is, he is. Uh, he was a guy that was so good at the Tony Hawk games that never saw the developers of it actually hire them Heck to come yeah. work on the games. <laughs> oh, I guess we weren't going off to kill him in one. Oh well. Dang it. But yeah, imagine being, imagine being so good at a game that the developers go like, "Hey, why don't you come work for us?" <laughs> yeah, it's been known to happen every now and then. Happened with a lot of people that used to play like the original Warcraft or World of Warcraft. Ah, oh, heck yeah! <laughs> YouTube analytics ironically be like, "Hey, have you heard of this Dark Side Phil guy? I think you should watch his stuff." I'm glad the only videos I get of his are the fucking "This is how you don't play" videos. That people make. <laughs> YouTube wants me to watch Jack Septicai and Mike Burnfire. Oh, let's not forget about Uncle Roger. Let's see, uh, Chainsaw Man stuff, uh, Castle Super Beast, yeah. Why Fire Emblem's prayer broke the law. The crap, alright. <laughs> uh, stuff out creepy stories or war of the crap. Uh, yeah, I got some of those too. Interesting team. powers in anime and manga. Oh, hey, new Droppy episode. Julia's just drawing in our Pokemon, and, like, that's always, like, weird and insane. <laughs> or stuff. It's, it's just titled, Guess What Pokemon Julia is Drawing, and in parentheses, it just says impossible. <laughs> <laughs> I should probably give a bit of context. This person has no idea what a Pokemon is, and they've done several videos of, like, you know, making people draw Pokemon or draw things based on Pokemon descriptions with her. And she still just does not get it. <laughs> Her idea for what Pokemon is somehow always just comes back to what well, there is a guy in a suit, though. It's the weirdest <laughs> bullcrap. You there? Yeah. I've okay, heard, uh, I've heard yeah. that story. Yeah. But I think that's a fairly interesting thing to do. <laughs> what was their code for you going to suit? <laughs> you don't know that. <laughs> it's just become like such a weird thing where it's like. <laughs> they've, they've gone to the point, right? Where it's like, this is a while back. They had several, like, okay, drawing Pokemon based on, like, descriptions or whatever the crap, or, like, based on, like, the side or whatever. And it's, like, or based on, like, the silhouette, right? Mm -hmm. And, like, Julia's crap is so weird that they're like, okay, we're just gonna do a two-part video. And, like, part one is, like, okay, we have three Pokemon names, and we have to try and, like, draw what we think Julia's going to draw based on the name tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> it's so, because she doesn't actually what she, you want, right? Yeah. She yeah. doesn't really have much idea and like her ideas are like so weird and out there. <laughs> so they're like, okay, what what's she going to imagine when like she hears this name? Like was this going to make her create? I remember watching a couple of those. 
It's like, I think Wom was like, okay, yeah, like, one of the ones was Dusknor, and they're like, okay, I think, you know, she's gonna, like, think of, like, Noir as in, like, you know, a Noir detective man, and it's gonna be, like, a Noir man who is also just, like, the sky. <laughs> <laughs> and they're like doing they're like yo they're like oh yeah we also have to get like tendrils and extra eyes in there because she draws those all the time and we have to make it this weird eldritch abomination thing to cover all our bases <laughs> gotta, <laughs> just gotta make sure that you got it <laughs> yeah they like do the thing and they go through the things and it's like all right second video it's her turn to like draw pokemon based on the name and they give her the same names and she's like ah no guys i'm just avid i'm just gonna draw cats and she just draws cats as everything and they're like i why what <laughs> we could suck. not have seen the cats coming <laughs> <laughs> they have a they have a pretty fun mod of like showing her the drawings they made of like what they thought she would draw though to compare and that was really fun. <laughs> but yeah, holy crap! I'm just gonna go after Guru Mon. Not to be confused with Guru Mon. Also, I YouTube randomly recommended me like, oh, here's a video about a Persona iceberg, and I'm like, yeah, sure, why not? I'll bite. <laughs> Man, I is it bad? I kind of hate those iceberg videos because every time I look at one, it's like the dumbest. It's like, oh yeah, yo, like surface level, yo. This is the stuff everyone knows. Uh, hey, did you know that like? Ash is Charizard is like the Pokemon he gave away and it comes back. And it's like goes dab it. It's like, oh hey, here's some actually interesting facts that are kind of obscure lore. And it goes dab it where it's like, did you know about the theory that like Ash's like mom died in childbirth and like Ash has been hallucinating her the entire time. What? <laughs> it's like I I don't think this is true and what the crap are, of course I don't know about that because it's bullshit you pulled off of Reddit. There's a there's a whole movie based around um <laughs> It's like did we all you know that Yeah we all know that Professor Oak sent Ash off so he could just bang, so Professor Oak could bang his mom over and over. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Here you go, little boy, go off on an adventure. How's it going, Mrs. Catcher? Mr. Mime! <laughs> Singleize me, goddammit, shoot Pokemon. Bring <laughs> your Pokemon with you! <laughs> It'll, like, go past legitimately interesting, like, stuff they found in, like, a data mine or whatever, that, like, it'll just immediately be, like, were you aware of the fan theory that, like, Ash died in the first episode and, like, the, he sees a ho -Oh because he's dead and everyone's personifications of his unconscious or whatever. And it's like, okay, when you put the actual interesting stuff in the interviews next to wild fan theories, I don't even know if those are true at this point. What are you even <laughs> doing? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Did you know that uh, what the Pokemon trainers are actually children's soldiers? <laughs> they're they're child soldiers. <laughs> Did you know in Pokemon Forever it introduces a steampunk Pokeball, implying that Pokemon were used back in the turn the of the day. century? <laughs> yeah, back when uh, apparently. Britain was doing the Industrial Revolution, they made Pokeballs. But that's just a theory, a nice a bird theory. theory. <laughs> Although, speaking of game theory and that rather infamous 
It's on a four right That's now. just a mat pad. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I did hear an interesting counter to that theory. <laughs> and Is this it one that the game literally says it's wrong in the narrative directly to the player? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> But I know, like, this would be considered wrong because of that, but, like, another, like, fan theory that, like, I saw in this iceberg is that Eddie may or may not be Yukiko. Not Yukiko's for that. <laughs> Nanako <a> Shadow. <laughs> but Nanako never even, like, that doesn't even... <laughs> I don't know, I'm just gonna keep calling him Dad Pat now. Dad Pat. One bit of evidence that kind of supports it is that, like, when Nanako ends up in the hospital, Teddy's Teddy just disappears. <laughs> yeah, because he runs away from home. That's the whole, like, it's so explained. <laughs> but it's not. It's just a... <laughs> I, I think yeah. of this, it's like, Freaking Nanako has met Teddy in the <coughs> other world. Like, she's seen him in, like, yo, know, the freaking, like, TV world. <laughs> so it's like, it if is. he was her shadow, shouldn't that make her, like, reject him and, yo, know, start a boss fight where she'd gain Teddy as her persona? <laughs> Who the fuck knows? <laughs> uh, I don't get it. You stupid shit that like fans like to spew <laughs> jeez okay so <laughs> do we switch out only one cannoli now or not um yeah I think we should and uh let's put a uh, magna on back in the fight into okay Can Magna Giovanni and like Digivolve further or level up further? Okay, yeah, I still got levels up. Okay, yeah. Okay, so this works. I'm just as I glanced over at YouTube. There's just, there's just. Oh, hey, Seedramon. Heck yeah. Seedramon. Did we go to the Mega Seedramon earlier? Uh, yeah, it was like in Zudacorn's team. Right. Was it on Zudacorn? No, I thought we had one and we used it. No, I don't think we ever had one. Huh. Trap could be disabled. Do we do it? Fuck yeah. Okay, so Ugh. this is, we it's Air Javon? <laughs> Crap, we have a sure gun. We could if we are wanted a Vmon, now'd be the time. Oh, unfortunately we can't do that. Yeah, also freaking Triceramon isn't here to talk <coughs> to get Vmon. Triceramon. Yeah, remember in the chat, Omega Triceramon. Oh right, yeah, yeah. Yeah, he was really deterred to be like, you guys should get Vmon, and I was like, ah, no, man, it's kind of like, it's, you know, Peter and Bustus's first playthrough, I want them to have control over what we get. Uh, at first I was thinking about, like, the Digimon, and I was like, yeah. why did Digimon tell us once again another Digimon, and then I forgot the, but the, the viewer that was there. Yeah, let's not stuff on that if we don't have to. Yeah, no, I'm good, let's find another way first. Uh, well, we can't break well, this one. Well, that's not helpful. <laughs> Yay. <laughs> oh, well, great. that's not helpful either. Hey, look. Trap can't easily be disabled. Sure, why not? Yeah, okay. Okay. <laughs> hey, can't that fix our shooter gun? It might be able to. Let's not use it right now, though. I don't think we need to do it Cure Confusion, uh, full HP, one vaccine, recover one HP, Digibule. Oh. Return it doesn't bug, be like Water Arrow, Gifaldi, Alt, Digimon. 
and like, yeah, all right, yeah, just for Kara's health. Yeah. Dang. Oh, hey, we should not go this way unless we absolutely have to. Uh, okay. That thing is an ultimate. It will probably be a problem. What? Yeah, no. I was about to say, we don't need to get our shit. Well, but I guess we one. gotta. <laughs> <laughs> we have to continue our hunt for Red November. <laughs> 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 yes, I saw what you fucking did to the name of the stream. <laughs> I was wondering when you'd notice. <laughs> Isn't Octomon like a champion? Yeah, Octomon's a champion, yeah. So, yeah, this is Vedamon. He's a freaking alien. For He's real. He's a brain. He is a brain. He is a brain alien and a little flying saucer, and we should kill him as fast as possible. I agree. I was about to say, when I first heard, oh, it's just a brain, I go like, so, kind of like, and draws the second form in Star Wars 64. <laughs> Dang. <laughs> the only yeah, the annoying... Huh? Yeah, if you, depending on... If you get like the right ending or not, you literally that is literally the second phase of the final boss fight with Star Fox 64. Yeah, you like kill Andros, you like shoot him in the face, you shoot his hands, you destroy his hands, and he becomes nothing but like a brain with eyes, and you destroy his brain. And it's like, man, this is so unnecessarily mean. Yes. You, yeah. You're not just gonna kill him, you're gonna shoot his brain, like, directly. Hey, that's his fault for keeping to attacking you while he, while he was a brain, okay? Man, I like how- slept. Yeah, I really like how Star Fox Zero handles the Andross fight. Where it's like, you're fighting the big crazy face, and like, yo, he's like, glitching out, and if you like, look through the thing, you can see that it's like, a hologram, right? And it's just like a big brain underneath, and that's how they justify it. I see. Yeah. So it's like a hard light construct. Yeah. But our brain behind our hard light construct. Yeah, it's really neat. And it's like you have to literally like use the little like Wii U gamepad to like see his weaknesses under the hologram, if I remember right. Interesting. Yeah, it's like, oh yeah, trust your senses, Fox, and you look through the gamepad, and it's like, oh! Trust your senses, Fox, and it's just like, stop ripping off Star Wars! <laughs> no, Japan will never be done ripping off Star Wars! <laughs> <laughs> One of the pivotal <laughs> moments in Lil Witch Academia is literally a lightsaber fight. I kid you <laughs> not, they just take out <laughs> witch lightsabers, and one is red, and one is, like, bluish-green, and they just start, like, sword-fighting with them. <laughs> it's, it's funny, I say, st I say uh, stop, stop copying Star Wars, but Star Wars copied a lot of, like, samurai films, so... Yeah... <laughs> Who's copying who? <laughs> Man, I feel like that series should have been way more memorable, but I just sort of like, I just forget it's even a thing sometimes. <laughs> it's what? so weird. <laughs> Little Witch Academia. Oh. <laughs> right, I keep... Wow. Why, I've heard of it. <clears throat> um, never watched it. <laughs> you Don't should, it's, it's a good show. <laughs> <laughs> the the final <laughs> boss is a sentient like giant nuke with a face on it, fueled by like the frustration of soccer fans around the world. Soccer fans? Yes. <laughs> what? Have you seen when soccer fans they get when they get angry? And they have to that? literally like pull a freaking like like detachable rocket thing with their broomsticks to catch up to the nuke to physically fight it with magic it's great so they're physically fighting a nuke that is basically a spirit ball of all the angry people that don't like how hot yes as much as they, they, they hate goes. The, they hate a bad soccer call and it fueled them with so much hatred it powered up the death nuke jesus how much, show how, is great. How much, 
How much hatred do you think failed that nuke today when all my goddamn files were corrupted on Fallout? <laughs> <laughs> I might have gotten it halfway today. <laughs> I was <Jeez>. really mad. <laughs> <laughs> I was throwing oh, things man. around. <laughs> I feel like what's even weirder is that that's also kind of the climax to brand new animal, but like with a different like thing fueling it and with a different result. But it's just like, oh, everyone's just really mad and that's the problem. <laughs> If only everyone could be more chill, we would be fine. <laughs> I thought he was talking about one that uh, Man. his friend in college was watching. So I know um, both Trigger shows. Both made oh. by Studio Trigger, yeah. Both oh, worth watching. Did he say what it was called? Uh... <laughs> Trigger makes some awesome shit. <laughs> Oh, yeah, yeah. It's something with Monster Girls, like, and the doctor. That's all I remember that of him telling me about it. Oh, yeah, it totally the just main okay. girl, like, a vampire or something? Wait, no, that don't narrow it down much at all. No. Because <laughs> um... I remember there's some show where it's like, it's like a high school, and, like, all the students are, like, monster girls with, like, you know, different issues and problems and stuff. And it's just like a slice of life show about like the school counselor or whatever, just sort of going around and like just sort of like, you know, helping them out with their problems and being like, you know what? Yeah, it's fine, you know, like, hey, you know, you may be a Dulahan and boys may pick on you by trying to steal your head, but just ignore them, they'll go away. <laughs> and it's like, yeah, that's how I solved my bullying problem. <laughs> And it's like genuinely good, wholesome life advice filtered <laughs> through anime like monster waifus. Awesome. <laughs> like, I think there's like a succubus who everyone's like picking on for like sleeping around or something. And they're like, you know what? It's fine, you know, just like try to be a bit more discreet, but you know, do what makes you feel comfortable, okay? No, wait, right. It was like the opposite. They're like, Gang after her for not dressing provocatively, and they're like, you, you don't have to do that. Screw those guys. <laughs> uh, I really need to figure out what show that was. It actually sounded pretty cute. It does. That does sound adorable. <laughs> Man, this dungeon is weird. Yeah, okay. Hold up, did you see my suggestions for anime night? <laughs> oh yeah, I think I did. I think you wanted to put Tiger Mask W on the wheel if we couldn't come to a decision. Yeah, I think my two were Psychopaths and Tiger Mask W. <laughs> I'm thinking like... I'm, I'm conflicted, because I know I want Wom to be Dr. Stone for sure. And the other one, it's like, ah, but Mob Psycho 100, I could go One Punch Man, uh freaking like like really the list just goes on right yeah. I could do the cross Neverland and that'd be a fun thing like Gundam what's that one about Vikings that one sounds pretty cool Vinland Saga yeah weirdly we already that did that cool. yeah Hectic still didn't like it for some reason of course he didn't <laughs> he, he really had the main character and I still don't know why I don't get it Yeah, I heard that that one was pretty good. Yeah, Vinland Saga's pretty great. Yeah, I love Vinland Saga. It's like, you get to see a Viking that's so powerful that they literally are just, like, throwing entire fully grown, like, tree logs down at boats to stop them from <clears throat> getting up to the bridge to, like, just shoot at them. And it's also actually based on history in a way. Yeah, Vinland Saga I mean, is really interesting in that respect. I mean, like, the, uh, uh, historical fiction is what we would call it. Yeah, it's based on, like, the historical sagas. So it's like, 
there's the real life history which actually happened that they're mixing in there, and there's the historical saga stuff where it's like, yo, like the Vikings would be like, oh man, this guy was so strong, he came from like the blood of heroes, and yo, he was so powerful, he could yeah. like split someone's helmet apart with his sword, and yo, they're doing like that type of exaggeration, and it fits super well, it's really cool. Yeah, that's that's kind of like what, what, when I heard. <laughs> yeah, it's like, man, it just works so. It's like they load it to only like a handful of people. There's like, what, like three or four dudes like that. And every time they do something really crazy and just insane, everyone around them is just like, "What the crap was that? Are you serious?" <laughs> Like, there's a dude who literally does the thing where he just, like, slashes a guy's head in half through his helmet with, like, his sword, and everyone around him is like, oh, holy crap, don't mess with that. Uh, yo, don't with that guy. He's, he literally sliced a man in half with his sword. <laughs> like, jeez, that's nutty. <laughs> There's, like, a notable character who's, like, they're, like, on boat, and they're, like, oh, yeah, it's time to just row out to our destination. And the main guy's father is, like, oh, yeah, you go all on the right. I'll take the left side. And he takes out his oar, and it's, like, massive. And it's, like, even with him rolling against the entire rest of the crew, he's, like, still whipping up giant waves and kind of, like, outdoing them. And he's like, sorry, I'll like hold it back so you can keep up. And they're like, jeez. <laughs> the crap. <laughs> yeah. And they're like, are, they're like, how do, you, wait, how, do you, what? how do you not like the main character? Like, though? that's awesome. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's not the main character. That's his dad. Oh, uh, still nonetheless. Yeah, the main character's whole- well, I don't want to get into spoilers, because, like, this is the main thing of the show, but yeah. Main, main character's deal is pretty good. I, I like it oh, I'm a lot. Sure. Yeah. <laughs> it, is, it is a very well-founded revenge story, I'll just say that much. <laughs> it's a very well-founded revenge, and it goes in interesting directions. <laughs> Fascinating. Was, uh... Also, I heard a copyright strike story on another Discord that may be my new kind of lowest I've seen for one. What? Oh, how bad so, is it? So, uh, one of the YouTubers I watch, 616 Entertainment, he is currently making a history of God of War series. Okay. And he was gonna put in a video on the PS4 God of War game. <laughs> oh no. And one of the sections he made, he did this whole entire tribute to uh, pro wrestler and the guy who actually did motion capture of that game, uh, Shad Gaspard, who... Okay, this is going a different direction than I expected. Yeah, and he was doing this whole section to tribute him. And it included pictures of his family, and the WWE co copyright struck those photos, and now he has to blur the whole entire section. Ah, oh, that's <laughs> so lame. What the so heck? Wait, the dude's family was copyright stricken by the WWE? Because, um, sadly, Chad Gaspard passed away, I think it was... I think it was in 2021, actually. He um, was swimming with his son off of the, off of like the coast of California, and a, and like this wave was coming in, and uh, they were pulling people out of the water, and uh, he uh, told his, um, told the lifeguard like, "Come back for me. Just take my son to shore," and. He sadly drowned. Mm. Or that's he came back. Yeah. 
That's that's so screwed up. That's almost like, you know, the time Nintendo copyright someone making Joy-Cons in honor of a famous person who committed suicide. Yeah. Yeah, but companies like money, so... Yeah, it's really dumb. They don't dumb. really care. Although, I don't think some of these companies realize once they pull a huge douchebag move that a lot of people are like, I really don't like that company anymore. <laughs> and are you still gonna buy Nintendo games? Probably. <laughs> uh, no, actually. <laughs> I haven't yeah, bought Nintendo cool. games in a long time. <laughs> yeah, it's been forever since I've purchased my last Nintendo game, so... <laughs> and if I did, they probably wouldn't see any money because it will probably most likely be for a console they don't get money from anymore. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, man. I mean, you know what? Won't lie. Probably will buy, like, uh, their remake of the N64 when it comes out. Like, the, like how they did the Super Nintendo and everything. Yeah. Not yeah. gonna lie. Breath of the Wild 2 comes out. I know people are gonna be on that no matter what. Like, oh, nothing's yeah, yeah. gonna, like, yeah. No, nobody's not gonna buy that game. Yeah, I mean, of Ninten course. Nintendo's like, like I, I, I want to say Nintendo's a special case, but it's not because uh, people have been compla complaining about Blizzard for years. They're still fucking pumping out games. They're still fucking pumping. <laughs> yep. Yeah, yeah, we got Dragonflight coming out. There's another Overwatch coming out. There's. Man, uh, how depressing do we want to make this session? <laughs> 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 do, do we want to talk about the Blizzard allegation for people who might have, like, missed or forgot about that crap? No. <laughs> Can we talk about just how bad that crap was? Shh, I love Blizzard Entertainment. They've done nothing wrong. <laughs> like, there was, like... There is a room for, like, breast being, because, of course, like, you know, like, hey, if one have babies, they need to, like, breastfeed if they're... Th they need to, like, you know, pump their breasts if they're at the office, because it'll just come out if it builds up, right? It's like a natural thing. And they mm -hmm. didn't even have a lock on the fucking door. Yeah. They just refused to do it. And people would just sort of, like, poke their head in and just stare super creepily. Do you know how much a lock costs? It's like 30 bucks plus installation. Yeah, it's probably less than a lawsuit. <laughs> there are, like, multiple reports of, like, people just, like, you know, one just, like, you know, using the breast pump, and their breast milk just mysteriously goes missing because some creepy dude has just stolen it. I want to know the guy who's sitting at, at, at Blizzard HQ, like, coding, their, coding the lines for, like, I don't know, the new Diablo game or whatever, and they're sitting there just drinking a cup of breast milk. Mmm, <laughs> it's good. <laughs> Come on, yeah, just like, say, honestly, it makes a bit too much <laughs> sense, really. I was going to say, who the fuck let Homelander work at Blizzard? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. what the fuck? <laughs> you know who does that? Homelander. And he's evil! It's so, like, I feel like we're getting to a point where, like, stories like this are so cartoonishly evil that I feel like I have to go back to, like, G.I. Joe and Captain Planet villains to, like, apologize. Yeah, like, you know? Sorry, Cobra, I didn't know, like, you were so tame. <laughs> Freaking oil baron who just wants to pollute the ocean because, like, pollution is rad. I'm sorry, you were more nuanced than I expected. <laughs> and at least you have morals. <laughs> at least you know what you stand for. <laughs> It's like, it's like uh, today, uh, these people stole money from people who were supporting charity, and like all the bad guys from our childhood are like, yeah, even yeah. I, I'm evil, and even that's like going too far. <laughs> Wasn't there some recent like story? I think it was like a few months back or something. So quote unquote recent, where it's like there's some say where like the police were just starting to just straight up arrest homeless people for being homeless. And yeah. it's like, oh, I guess being poor is a crime now. It, it apparently was. I should mention, I just looked over at my YouTube recommendations. 
There is just a video called A History of Spam on the Internet, and it is from a channel called I Kid You Not, We're in Hell. It is just tramp called We're in Hell. <laughs> they think they're going great, guys. <laughs> Jeez. Uh, that's funny. <laughs> oh boy, what a joyful stream we're having. <laughs> so yeah, anime, right? Boy, new Mob Psycho 100 sure is neat. Isn't that a lot it's, of fun? It sure is a good season of television. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Mob has to destroy a giant broccoli, and their plan is to throw it into the ocean. <laughs> I don't know how that will solve the problem, but okay. Well, you see, if the giant broccoli is gone, then people can't worship the giant broccoli. I mean, it... Throwing things into the ocean seemed to work for Boston a couple of times, so... Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> you just I cut mean, to I the mean... Boston Harbor, you know, the fish are like, Oh man, how's the tea today? Oh, exquisite <laughs> as usual, my dear Samuel. And you see a giant stalk of broccoli fall in, and they're like, Ah, damn it, this completely ruins the taste! <laughs> oh, what is this? Preposterous. It's very uncouth. Oh, hey, we finally got Wingblade for the king. Yeah! I, I await your fan art of the king with big, crazy, like, Megadramon <laughs> wings. Wingblades. <laughs> I saw one of the funniest pro wrestling signs on AW Dynamite last night. <laughs> oh, yeah. oh no. And the and the sign said <laughs> So I'm trying to remember what the sign said. Like I know the wrestler was directed at the sign was directed at a uh, MJF. I thought you said song for a second and I was like why how did you see a song? You normally you listen to this Oh, I didn't mean to use that, but screw it, it's fine. <laughs> Although AEW does have some cool theme music, though. No doubt. Heck no. yeah. They got a wild thing by X for one of their wrestlers. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't that wild song thing. from some comedy baseball movie? <laughs> <laughs> uh, sure, why not? Because there's a guy who is the wild thing, and it's like, his whole deal is he sucks the batter, but then he gets glasses and he becomes a beast. <laughs> that's, not how that, that's not how glasses work. <laughs> no, I mean, he becomes good swinging finally. <laughs> oh, I guess maybe because he can see the yeah, ball. Yeah, because he could see. <laughs> Oh yeah, now I remember what the slides that it was that uh, MJF walks like General Grievous over to his hand by collection. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, boss time, let's go. General Grievous. Here we go. Oh hey, who was Commander who was Damien? Damien? <laughs> uh, who was Con Commander Damien? Who Yo, is this Peter, man? You got this. Wait, who? <laughs> you. Oh, okay. Think oh, of your best you... cowardly French voice. <laughs> first, first, the game of mine was fucking Borkin's One Piece Sanji. <laughs> Screw it, do it. <laughs> oh, there was, I was gonna say, there was no way in hell I'll be able to do that deep of a New Yorker accent. <laughs> I mean, to be fair, he can't do a French accent, so you're good. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, aren't you the little punk guard I've met before? <laughs> and you're Commander Damien of the Blood Knights, right? Yes, I'm the yes, I'm Commander Damien, the big don of the Blood Knights. 
Good work on finding this code domain, but your luck has run out. <laughs> Jokes on you, I put 10 into luck. Oh, jeez. Because now I'm gonna knock your block off and have you for breakfast. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah, he's not gonna eat you, he's just gonna have you over for a nice time and you'll have pancakes together over like tea. Okay. So you're gonna kick my ass and then whatever. He's gonna I don't kick want your, your ass and then serve you up a plate of flapjacks and a biscuit. I don't want your breakfast. But keep talking. I do really like bacon. I'll take care of you just like last time. And then I'll serve you breakfast. <laughs> what a foolish little kid. I'm better than you and you know it. <laughs> this, is, this is like slowly turning into like a gay romance subplot. What is this? <laughs> <laughs> also, very inappropriate. You're an adult. <laughs> I'm an androgynous little boy. Girl we, don't thing. Know, we don't know how old Norm is or what their gender may be. <laughs> <laughs> An androgynous boy girl thing. <laughs> Next slide is going to make this any better. I was playing with you last time. <laughs> Oh, no. I don't like to make, I don't uh, like to make everything better. Come, come at me, bro. Is that when you stole my Legos? <laughs> no, that was that. That was that ass hat for a turn. <laughs> oh no! Jeez. They have they have a king too. So we have Edamon Cherrymon. Who does Cliff not look Ranger. like he does in Digimon World 1, thankfully. He did <laughs> no, get a he, new model from the he's horrible, much like, more terrifying yeah. in the other one. <laughs> and freaking Ogremon, because of course. Okay, Ogremon, whatever. So yeah, we have two ultimates and a champion. I don't know what Cherrymon does, but Edamon, I, I do. So I feel like so, maybe we should take out Cherrymon? I do I remember know. that it's like, Cherrymon has an AoE. He'll attack everybody. Okay, let's kill him. Okay. Let's cut some wood. Yeah. Sure. You better not you, this game better not disappoint me. His AoE move better be called Cherrymon. <laughs> I don't know if it is or not. That's actually kind of clever. I didn't even think about yeah, that. Yeah, that's pretty good, actually. <laughs> it's Cherry Bomber or something. Yeah. You know what? Screw it. I'm writing a Digimon fanfiction. I'm gonna steal that shit. Fuck yeah. <laughs> if Boy, I ever use it, yeah, if I ever have a Cherry Bomb in that story, he's gonna have Cherry Bomber. Cherry Bomb. <laughs> <laughs> you better give me your name. Give me credit. You're getting nothing. <laughs> You get it. You get it. And a thanks to oh, the end of the book. Pelter. <laughs> so much lamer than Cherry Bomb. Yeah, what the, that's so much worse than Peter's. <sighs> what was the move called? I was looking away. <laughs> it was called Pit Pelter. Oh, boo. <laughs> <laughs> At least we'll call it Cherry battle. Blaster. Come on, I was expecting better from you. Come on. That's uh, probably a pun that works better in Japanese or some crap. I don't know. Wow, he didn't take a lot of damage from that. Well, let's get to this. Do I look like I speak Japanese? I'm an American! <laughs> Not even we, we do remember what Edamon does, right? Yeah, he uh, confuses people, right? No, he makes it so you can't use skills. And oh, when we shit. got hit with that on Magna Edgemon, it took away all his abilities and he could <laughs> fight. I remember that now. I was about to say, it's time for us to go for a two frog attack. <laughs> they can only be one king, baby. Yeah, I was gonna say, I think it's time for the two kings to fight. <laughs> I know, uh, maybe we can be them in our turn or two. Uh, it won't be a problem, but, uh. 
Well, never crash. mind. It's already a problem. He's already screwing us. Phrasing. I I just want that to like sit for like. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't even pick up on that. <laughs> oh, jeez, our health is going down fast. Uh, and we have no shooter gun. Awesome. Great. We definitely, uh... uh trying to come up with the proper words of calling we us definitely stupid. botchered up that one. <laughs> Yeah, we definitely botched this fight. <laughs> Damn it, Magna Angemon, I blame you. It's all your fault. Damn it, Magna Angemon, why? I knew you were working for the other team. Wait, you did? What? <laughs> you knew and you said nothing? Oh, uh, yeah, I was waiting for him to play his card. <clears throat> right. <laughs> Alright, so I just looked up the Droppy Pokemon episodes just to see what they had, because they have some pretty good ones. <laughs> they have artists drop Pokemon based on their vibes. Right on. <laughs> and it's like, it's just two silhouette designs, and it just says nasty routine. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm i gonna guess of who that could possibly be Charmeleon <laughs> I was about to say uh, isn't uh, Trophy the people who made that uh, drawing WWE wrestlers based on their name yeah yeah they yeah. drew Big Van Baylor <laughs> <laughs> yeah they do a lot of funny stuff yeah, guessing what Pokemon Julia is drawing, impossible. <laughs> three po three R's try drawing Pokemon from memory. It's about what you expect. R's draw Pokemon based on their Pokedex descriptions. And there is a head. picture of like a rabbit butt with like a skull and crossbones over it. And also Among Us for some reason. Among us. Among us. Ours draw themselves as their Pokemon the gym leaders, so Pokemon gym sodas. And it's just a freaking Viking. <laughs> just straight up. <laughs> wow, I really need a heal. Holy crap. Drawing AI generated Pokemon at some horrible, like, freaking, like, Satellite dish like Saturn abomination. <laughs> Drawing Pokemon from memory, trading card edition. Oh. And there's a weird little like sand true with like ears and it looks horrifying. I <laughs> mean, I have to go to the bathroom. I'll be right back. Yeah. Hang on. Artists draw realistic Pokemon. This one sounds fun. And it's like Grookey into something. Oh, this is a fun huh. one. Artists draw Pokemon as people. Oh my god, that'd be terrifying. <laughs> Just, oh god. Oh hey, drawing Dark Soul bosses as Pokemon. <laughs> okay, of course. Oh, that's a good idea. Draw Pokemon based only on their name. <laughs> Pokemon what? type, yeah, just based on their name. I mean, like, try to come up with what would, uh, what would you draw for Pikachu? Like, <laughs> I have well, no idea. Well, that reminds me of Peaches, so it's a Peach and a Mouse. Uh, I like. I think that's I the logic we're too. going with. I hear chew and I think teeth. <laughs> yeah, maybe it's like it's like a peach with teeth that like chews on things. Yeah. Yeah, it's a fake peach. 
probably got like little hands and feet too. Oh my god, that literally, if you give it mouse tail, yes, that is literally what Pikachu is. He's a big peach. <laughs> Deep. Wait, what? Nothing. Pikachu's a butt? <laughs> yes. Beautiful, plumptuous peach. I forget, the thing in Japan that peaches are meant to be butts, or are they meant to be, like, you know, boobs? I forget which is. I think I they're boobs. I think boobs. they're supposed I to be I think they're butts. either. I, I, either butts, or, yeah, I don't know. I, I feel I, like, I don't know, maybe butts? Maybe it's both. Maybe it's just both. I can understand peaches looking like butts, because they've got, like, that one little... That one little line in them. <laughs> yeah, but also, you know, also. Right, yeah. Alright, hmm. we're slowly taking out their team bit by bit. Uh, Pokemon Time yeah. Swap Challenge. <laughs> so it's just Bulbasaur, and it's just pulling towards, like, red, crazy, evil Bulbasaur, and it just says Fighting Dark. <laughs> He's got, like, a black eye. Oh, so it's just giving, giving, drawing, like, original Pokemon, but, like, um, if they had a different style of, instead of grass or whatever, it's Yeah, this... instead of grass poison, it's fighting dark. <laughs> okay, I'm back. Artists draw Pokemon as Dark Souls bosses. This one's, this one's fun, yeah. Oh, of course. <laughs> drawing Pokemon based on their Pokedex entries. There is just like some horrible fucking abomination with its eyes bulging out of its sockets. Well, <laughs> I don't know what the Pokedex says about them because I never really looked because I don't care. I just grabbed them because I thought they looked cool. <laughs> yeah, some of these are wild. Uh, like, bad man. translation Pokemon drawing challenge, and there's oh. Among Us again. Among Us. Jeez. Oh wow, we really need Magnangemon to just heal everyone up for a second. Yeah, that's probably for the best. So yeah, this is like they run Pokemon Pokedex and trees or whatever through like, yo, know, a bad translator, translator? multiple times. And then it's something weird out of it that they can make a thing out of. What do they translate it from like Japanese to English to Japanese to English again? Like continuously? Japanese to English to German to Russian to whatever, oh. like 15 oh times and then back that to would English. That'd be possible. <laughs> Drawing Pokemon <laughs> based on their German names. This is an interesting one. <laughs> Like, <laughs> and it's just it just says German Pokemon names Pot Rot over Shuckle. <laughs> <laughs> right, this is a fun one. Drawing Pokemon based on their back sprites from Gen One. I'm seeing this um. one because the back sprites look way different from the front sprites. <laughs> Yeah, that's so true. yeah, they've got Scyther from the back, A looks weird, and they've just turned him into a cool little like turtle man holding a banana. <laughs> He's I guess like kind of kinda... adorable. Cause he he does they don't really make any sense when you get them back, but Yeah. Drawing more Pokemon based on their back sprites. I think this is meant <laughs> to be Porygon. And it's like you see the eye and the weird, like, head from a weird angle that makes no sense. And they just turn him into this, like, weird, awkward little lizard dude <laughs> with, like, a big <laughs> fin. <laughs> the artists draw themselves as Pokemon. <laughs> oh, God. And there is a picture of a capybara that's listed as steel fighting turning into something else. <laughs> Uh, who's that Pokemon drawing challenge? Pretty straightforward. <laughs> you know, you take the shape, you just do the thing. Who's that Pokemon? Artists predict Kids. new Pokemon Sun and Shield evolutions. Oh wow, this one aged horribly. But or did it? <laughs> the world may never know. 
Oh, and also artists make scenes from random shapes. And there's a picture of, like, Sonic reading a newspaper, looking backwards, embarrassed and sweating in, like, a weird, awkward way. And you can <laughs> see bits of him that imply that, like, he's just got his butt just straight up and just, like, just full prostrate, like, right at the camera. Oh, awesome. <laughs> like, oh, you walked on me, ring the paper, huh? <laughs> what? Has the king just not been doing any attacks? What is going on? Uh, uh... Oh, ours turned Looney Tunes into Pokemon. Okay. Oh, of course. <laughs> oh, this is a fun. This isn't related, but it's like just completing Inktober in 30 minutes. It just says Inktober speed run. <laughs> so yeah, you just quickly draw an entire month's worth of ink drawings in like 30 minutes and just get what you can out. Oh my god. Just watch you wait got, between like... days, right? I get like half a drawing here. <laughs> I can't draw that quickly. Oh man. There is one that they made a while back, which is like... It's like a pretty good one that I think everyone should check out, which is yeah, like, yeah, it's drawing animals based on their skulls. So it's like, hey, yo, we got an elephant, we got an elephant skull. What crazy thing does this look like? Especially if you don't know what animal it came from. Yeah. <laughs> and it just straight up says, the bone game. <laughs> It's a bone game. And they make a <laughs> bunch of jokes about like, yeah, we're, do you play the bone game? It is the most dangerous game of all with these of bones. Of course. Do you know the rules of the bone game? And they've done like multiple videos of this like challenge and each time they just have like a different intro for the bone <laughs> game. <laughs> and we missed every single attack with Edamon. What is happening? I don't think Edamon has successfully laid goddamn attack this entire time. <laughs> like, I've been sitting there, and at first I was like... I was confused at which Edamon it was. Was it ours or was it his? But it was ours that's not doing anything. Yeah, maybe we just can't use the move he's trying to use. Maybe it just isn't working. I guess. I mean, he does have the purple heart by him, so... Because it should be red out, but maybe it's just not for some stupid reason. Let's try Iron Drill Spin. Let's see what that does. Yeah, that would definitely be useful to know. I was gonna say, a purple heart's supposed to be a good thing, but it's really not, because if you get a purple heart, it's your <laughs> Yeah, it's because you just had to suffer, and you just went through something horrible, and you yeah. just have scars for it. There you go, have this. Enjoy. I, yeah, I'm sorry you got shot, I guess. Here, have a medal. It's like, yeah, at least this makes it cap better. Yeah, you lost and at your least foot. it's a Here bit go. better. There you go. <laughs> it's, it's better than nothing. <laughs> I mean, I guess. <laughs> I would you rather not have a medal? I would rather have uh, financial support from the, the government that I went to go fight for, and then they fucked up my leg, oh, and then geez. they're not paying for me. Okay, so we could do iron drills, but it doesn't seem like we can do anything else. Iron Drill Spin? Yeah, it's That's Drill all you can do? move. All we can do is drill things. We're going back to Gurren Login. Cool. <laughs> Look, he did a thing. Yeah. It took you long enough, dude. Right, I actually talk about brand new ammo. I know I brought it up for a second. Brand new ammo. I don't think I did. Well, sir. It's a trigger show about a cute little, like, raccoon girl who has shape-shifting powers. <laughs> and she teams up with a freaking, like, wolf man who's a detective. 
and he's the edgiest freaking dude ever. This show sounds adorable, I wanna see it. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, let's screw it, I put brand new ammo up as my alt pick for AMA night, and if we get you gotta come. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Also, yeah, the theme song slaps. <laughs> the theme song slaps. Oh, man. Oh, no. This is not possible. <laughs> I'll let you want for your braveness this time, but next time, it won't be this easy. And there it goes. Why, do I, why did I just let him go? Hey, wait! Uh, what? He ran away again! Chicken! I feel like from this point in the game onwards, Norm's dialogue slowly just becomes something special. <laughs> <laughs> Is he really a high-ranking officer of the Blood Knights? We haven't even hit the peak of it yet. We're, we still haven't hit the apex. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy, I can't wait to see what else he's gonna say. Then take it down, Red November, hooray. <laughs> I'm yeah, back. It's, it's no Red November. It's like no Nut November, but just for girls, challenge level impossible. <laughs> What's no Nut November? <laughs> but you actually don't know? I do. I imagine that it doesn't exist, though. Listen, it's when you're not allowed to eat any nuts for November. None at all. But... No no nuts are allowed. <laughs> it's it's very hard on gay people specifically, because my... they really like peanuts. But what about peanuts? No. <laughs> and you will have to starve. No, my protein. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I refilled that challenge. Uh, a couple of peanut butter sandwiches today, so I refilled that challenge. <laughs> oh man, I like that there's just like an image, like some meme image someone made. And it's like Anya just reading a newspaper that says No Nut November in the mall with like a big shopping cart full of like packets of peanuts, and she just looks terrified. <laughs> <laughs> You know, if we're allowed to, if we are allowing ourselves to have a third pick, I may allow <laughs> Spy X Family to be my third. <laughs> you know, I'll also make Spy X Family my third, being we'll only put it on the wheel once. <laughs> <laughs> <Okay. laughs> I, I think that's fair, coming, yeah. When it was coming time to pick the second one, it was very hard to choose between Tiger Mask W or Persona 4 the animation. <laughs> 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 oh yeah, the Blood Knights attacked Archive Port and Ben Oldman was injured. No! How the heck did they find it? So I just leave? <laughs> cool. Yup, we're Why just going you? there. Oh, we're here. <laughs> Mr. Oldman, where are you? What happened? Mr. Oldman? You're not Ben Oldman. Excuse me, where is Mr. Oldman? You know what this means, right? The fact that we sent guards here to help led them to the place. Yeah, we found it and they followed our guard tamers. Good job, guys. Yeah, congratulations, I... dumbasses. Yeah, he went to the <laughs> city to see the guard leader. Are you serious? I was just there! <laughs> So he's all right. Uh, I'm glad to hear that. Then I'll go back to the city. I mean, I literally was just there. <laughs> Keep in mind, we have to literally just like cross the entire like map just to go there and back every time. I know, like we get to fast travel or whatever, but if this is actually the walk that whole way. Yeah, we have to drive the entire way. I mean, that can be very quick. Especially in a tank that probably just goes the entire way. Yeah, tanks are very expensive too. They're they're very fuel consuming. Yeah, not very quick either. Yeah, you'd I be mean, surprised at how slow a tank can be. 
I mean, yeah, they can go quick, but... Did you evolve to Greymon? Yeah! Yay, we just Greymon! need another one of them to have Zerko back. <laughs> There's only one cannoli. It is the only one cannoli. Only one cannoli. Okay, that thing without the battle looks, and I'm... This is probably going to be a hot thing. I don't like the look of the normal uh, frame on. Eh, that's fair, yeah. It, yeah. Tree Fairy he is pretty iconic, though. Like, there's a yeah. lot of different, like, builds yeah. and stuff. Like, there's a lot of artwork where this looks really cool. Yeah. I mean, but, like, yeah, this is the, the original is just, for me. like, a straight upgrade. Like, immediately, yeah. right? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, he gets a rocket arm, bro. Yeah. <laughs> Man, have I showed you guys freaking Rise Greymon yet? I think you have. Uh, I think, you, I think you showed time. me when I was talking about, like, you making me a Digimon deck. Hang on, <laughs> I just show you this crap. Because this is like, this is Wolf Mel Greymon had an alternate evolution. Copy it until I just post this in the Discord, BC chat text. Okay, give me a sec. All right, Pierre, can you hear me? Yeah, we can, buddy. <laughs> All right, there it is. Yo. <laughs> so it's like Wolf Mel Greymon, yeah. but different. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that is pretty cool. You see this, Peter? Yeah, I see it. It looks cool. Wolf Mel Greymon, but instead of a claw, we just had a freaking revolver gun. for an arm. <laughs> what if gun instead of instead of claw? Like literally, a like not even just a generic gun, a freaking giant revolver. Yeah, you're right. Cause I, I didn't even look close enough, but there is the you see the the sixth chamber. Yeah. <laughs> Man, the shot, the shrine. The shrine. The shine Greymon line is freaking rad. I love it. So you are maxed out. Tanks for nothing. <laughs> Tanks for nothing. <laughs> we were so mad at the end of that. <laughs> yeah. Alright, you can't evolve yet. You can't either. Do we want to fuse Magna Angemon with anything just yet? Hmm. Cause we could like a bit. We could get Leomon. Leomon would be pretty awesome. Wizardmon. Oh, Wizardmon would be awesome too. Yeah, we're getting some options. Time vampire. Jeez. We have <laughs> Although, like I said, names. Time no, vampire? Um, yeah. Who's the time I vampire? I think that was one of the Digimon we had to hunt down for that one guy. <laughs> yeah. All oh, right, yeah, that was the name of one of our guys. <laughs> I was going to say Dio? Freaking He's a time vampire. Vampire. <laughs> Yeah, because he just sucked our time away. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I remember that. Although, um... <laughs> Although that has, has been something I've been brainstorming a lot lately. Like, what if Yo was a Mortal Kombat character? <laughs> she was a fucking Mortal Kombat character. Uh, he'd be the best Mortal Kombat character. <laughs> so, so, yeah, so no new progress with that guy. Although that was something I was debating, like, should... Do you have access to his time stopping powers? <laughs> Does he have his stand? Which deal are we talking about? Yeah, is it is it like vampire or like vampire stand Dio? <laughs> is it full power vampire stand Dio? Is it Dio <laughs> the world over heaven? Yeah. Is it Dio ascended god form? Yeah. Good thing. Well, the only bit of the back, like, I have, like, some bits of the backstory figured out, like, it literally, like, goes, like, like, when, I literally have it, like, begins, like, this is, like, the reason why he ends up in the Mortal Kombat tournament is because 
it ends where it begins where part three ends, like after they defeat him. <laughs> <laughs> He's dead. Uh, I was so worried the Joe Star JoJo's like all star battle over heaven or whatever starts, right? Yeah. Basically, is it, what good game. Is that whenever he gets beaten, he doesn't go straight to wherever the fuck he is gonna end up. He somehow ends up in the in the <laughs> where the actual Mortal Kombat like tournament takes oh place. My God, are you reading this <laughs> crap? You know, you should take, take off before I finish talking. <laughs> <laughs> That's a game, man. <laughs> I didn't want to. But old man is okay. Just some minor cuts. He's talking to the Blue Falcon leader now. Why didn't you stop me before I got into my tank? <laughs> like, I ran out the door and you were like, Oh, not my problem anymore. They're like, Norm, what the heck is wrong with you? Why'd you just run away? Because I don't like you. <laughs> Mr. Ben Oldman, are you okay? I was told that the Blood Knights attacked Archive Port. So I wanted to program that in. Just let that sink in for a second. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Somebody had to fucking make us run all the way back there and for no reason. Yeah, I'm alright. I'm tough. Wouldn't let those dirty Blood Knights do anything to me. But they stole the Navi disc from the pilot radar system. The, the Navi, what's that do? The Navi disc is the disc that controls the radar system, holds all the navigation map data from File Island to Huron Directory Continent. You know, File Island, that place from Digimon World One. Oh, I've never been there. <laughs> the navigation map data. What is that? If you use that disc, you can find where Foul Island is. <sighs> what? Is it Foul Island, dummy? <laughs> Foul Island isn't a mere legend. It really does exist. Our ancestors, <laughs> our ancestors lost to the evil prince of the wild Digimon, Foul Island, and escaped to Directory Continent on the Archive Ship. Then we formed guard teams and started training tamers to retake Foul Island. Yeah, that was the Prince Chaos Irvar the Crab. Prince Chaos? That's right. That's the reason for creating three guard teams. To defeat the evil Prince of Wild Digimon and bring peace back to Fall Island. But why would they go to Fall Island? What do they want? That we don't know yet, but we can ask Crimson. For your information, we know which domain they're hiding in. Norm, your new mission is to go to Laser Domain and capture Crimson! Awesome. Yes, ma'am, I'll get it done. <laughs> Yay, so we're back on the hunt for Red November. Hooray. <laughs> Cecilia, have you ever noticed that uh, every time he says File Island, he has a stroke? <laughs> I tried to say anything about it. <laughs> He's a weird kid. Oh, hey, Lewis. Norm, I'm beginning to understand what I have to do. You got all the, you gotta stop all the ghosts from coming through. You gotta cut off oh, that Lord. ponytail. In order for a Tamer to be strong, we must work together with our Digimon partners. What? <laughs> Wait, what? each other and see each other is the secret of being a good Tamer. <laughs> You mean I have to take care of my Digimon? You mean I have to treat them like <laughs> friends? <laughs> <laughs> they're not friends, they're disposable soldiers. Yeah, they're just <laughs> tools, aren't they? Yeah, they're like, they're like a gun. It's, I use yeah, it to kill people. <laughs> it's like a knife, you know? You just, you just send an ad so and it goes. Yeah, right? You just throw it and it goes. <laughs> We're trading Mel Mamimon for Nice Dramojimon. All right, we should probably do this one. This is a good one. <laughs> okay. Yeah. No, we gotta find Mel Mamimon. No, we have to find okay. Nice Dramojimon. Oh. 
Man, all these trades are just consistently really, really good. Is a nice Remojimon a beta type? I'd assume so. Let's find <coughs> out. Let us look it up. It is a data type. Yeah, you get it for being DP 6 to 7 with like a Gabumon. And it evolves <laughs> into Meteormon, yeah. Uh, low DP Gabumon becomes Centaurmon, then Meteormon, and then, like, if it is 3 or 5, it becomes Dramojimon, Meteor. Alright, so it just becomes Meteormon no matter what. That's, like, that sucks. But nice mm. Dramojimon is a pretty nice Dramojimon. Yeah, he sounds pretty nice. So we can get him in Laser Domain, actually. In Laser Domain? Yeah. Any? I think that's where we have to go anyway, so we might as well just, you know, grab him while we're there. Yeah. Alright, we ready to do this? Let's, Let's do, do this. this. Your Digipule is hot to trot. Yeah. Let's go, Buckaroo Bronto. Let's go to Laser Dome. Does Saddle anyone know what off. laser stands for? Lewis A. Smith's electric rifle? That would be awesome, but no, it's light ampli- 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 No wait, I that's the words. taser I'm thinking of, Thomas A. Smith's light electric rifle. Ampl amplification by stimulated emission of radio- <laughs> Lewis A. Smith's electric rifle. Yeah. <laughs> With like the uh... most confidence. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, and I, it spells out laser, which is how I found this out only because I thought laser had a Z in it. <laughs> it's only. <laughs> Yeah, it's light amplification by stimulation emission of radiation. I thought there was a Z. <laughs> Laser. Stimulated. Oh, we have more than enough of these. All right. I know there's a skateboard trick called the laser flip. <laughs> Side yeah, note, should we, like, upgrade the digibule, probably? Uh, this guy, I just realized this guy's name is Ammo Man. <laughs> yeah, you did realize? <laughs> no, we skipped by his dialogue too quickly and I wasn't paying attention most yeah, of the time. Yeah, this guy's part vendor. <laughs> okay, well, I get like, part and vendor makes more sense DB than Ammo parts. Man. Ammo Man. <laughs> Ammo Man. <laughs> I'm gonna go open up like a gun shop and call it and call myself ammo man. Man, so we can get more stuff, we can get more <laughs> health. <laughs> uh, I think we have the crane box, yeah. Uh, I don't think we can get the engine yet, can we? Well, I mean we can probably get it, but we won't be able to use it. Oh yeah, we don't have enough money for <laughs> it. We could use it, but we don't have enough money. Because it's for titanium buy. Oh, we, oh we got the yeah. upgraded body. <laughs> Shark bat? That might be good. Yeah, get better. Uh, that would probably Plate be tires, useful. I think we have this. <laughs> I was gonna say, Actually, we're yeah, we're pretty well upgraded. Yeah, we've been hitting the upgrades at the end of pretty much every session. Should we get yeah. the new battery? I uh, you know, I almost want to say we... See him. Maybe we can get the engine. Not enough bits. So do you guys have battery? Yes or no? Yes, we should get the battery. We could make back the money. <laughs> it's it's only one tenth of our current money right now. Don't you, you don't understand. I never use my. <laughs> I'm too afraid. I steal every. All right, these are our current parts. Or if you're talking like Skyrim or something, then I just find a bunch of random crap and I sell it to people for the amount of stuff that I want to buy from them. I still remember there was a the bucket head glitch from the early days. Uh, <laughs> you can yeah, put don't it that still work? 
<laughs> it does in Skyrim, yeah. Yeah, yeah so this is just a immediate upgrade. <laughs> Oh, Got the crane good. box, plate tire, shovel arm, phantom hand, mine sweep, bug sweep, all this bull crap, shooter gun. Did you feel hot to trot? Let's just upgrade this crap. Yeah, let's get our battery it's upgraded. <laughs> we now have 2,800 <laughs> EP. We've increased our movement distance by like a thousand. Oh my god! See, I told you getting that battery was a good idea. Yeah. Oh man, what a hard choice that was. I should probably transfer oh, my abs before we, like, forget. <clears throat> Although I did see a rather interesting video from uh, Andy THBS earlier today. <laughs> Oh, yeah. So, um, Ross from Game Grumps made a. made like one of those like ridiculous, like impossible levels in Tony Hawk Pro Skater 1, and 1 plus 2. Oh, we finally got <laughs> around to Pro Skater, huh? <laughs> yeah. And, um,. Andy not only completed that level, but he also did the whole entire level in a single combo as well. Crap. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> That's a fun. Uh, yeah, we had a bit more stuff in there. We don't need the iMag missiles. And when I say like this guy is like a pro. <laughs> He is insanely good at, like, the Tony Hawk games, man. Yeah, sounds <laughs> like it. Yeah. Man, have I you never... seen... Have you seen Ross's, like, Mario Maker levels? Oh my god, I fucking hate Ross's Mario Maker levels. <laughs> my niece has the Switch, and she made me try some of them. I was gonna kill her. Oh, hey, it's moving around. It did a thing. Yes, I am the almighty Gaia. Uh, Gaia, out of control. Those hurry, like, click. Well, that doesn't sound dire at all. It took me such a long time to build this guy. All it does is mumble something weird. It's just boring. What a hunk of junk. Hey, you don't think maybe you should tell someone? Okay, never mind. <laughs> oh, hey, Gus, get him! Gus! Dude, yeah, like you a few words of great advice. This is for free. Listen, and listen good. All I say at once, you can write it down. Being behind a legend, there is always a hidden truth. What? What are you looking at? You think I've gone mad, don't you? No, that was actually, like, the most <laughs> useless <laughs> tip in the world. Yeah, this seems like the kind of guy who now runs, like, one of those, like, online courses, like, oh, pay me this much and I'll tell you how to get rich. <laughs> yeah, okay, yeah, I've so... gotten, I've gotten better tips from all the CDI game. So we did go <laughs> Laser Domain Floor 6. Laser Domain. And there we will find the nicest Dramojimon. He's so nice. Fuck. <laughs> well, we're being tested immediately. God damn it. <laughs> <coughs> okay, well, so much for that. <laughs> this game hates us. This game hates everybody, let's be honest. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, hey, did you remember to pack your missiles? You better pack your missiles. And this is literally like, oh my god, I put the heart. Dark Souls so hard. We're like, you have no idea. 
Dark I've been Souls through. is easy. You know what's hard, Digimon. You have no idea what torments I've been through. The bugs! They're sending out my Digimon! Oh uh, yeah, there's bugs in Dark Souls too, yo. If you go to the poison swamp, the bugs! The bugs, you don't understand. They took up all my free space. <laughs> Damn it, we should have swapped in our Greymon. We should have swapped in only one Tanoli. Yeah, probably. Don't worry though, because once he evolves, he's gonna be something way cooler than Jericho. It's gonna be a fucking skeleton. <laughs> it's gonna be a freaking dinosaur skeleton with a nuke. Yes. <laughs> Those are the only people that you can trust with nukes, dinosaur skeletons. Yeah. Well, not this one. He only exists to fight, and he just likes blowing up anyone nearby, so... Uh, okay, have well, a bad deal, but still. Probably a bad idea to give him access. <laughs> probably not on my list of things to do. It's still weird to me that it's like it's all fleshy and stuff. It's like a flush nuke. Yeah, it's, that's kind of gross, but really badass all at the same time. Yeah. Actually, uh, let's let's keep from being poisoned, actually. Let's attack Vegemon. You know, for a country so heavily damaged by nuclear devastation, they really seem to put it in everything. Yeah, because it's like, it's the most destructive thing you can think <laughs> of, right? Uh, yeah, I mean, like, Yeah, true. even Chainsaw Man <laughs> has nukes. Wait, no, it doesn't. Oh, wait, yes, it does. <laughs> oh, well, does it? Yes, it does. That all makes sense to anyone who's read the manga. <laughs> <laughs> to anyone else, that's pure nonsense. Yeah, I was just yeah. assuming you were talking about something. And I said yes. Oh god. Although I think in uh, Fallout 3 in the Japanese version of that game, uh, I think they changed the name of the... Yeah, of the nuke of the... Call it the Fat Man. Yeah, the Fat Man. Yeah. They just changed it to Nuke Launcher, though. <laughs> yeah, that seems a bit more direct. Yeah, but it, the reason that it was called the Fat Man is it's, it was reference to the first atomic bomb that hit Japan. Yeah. And Japan was like, probably not cool to put that in our game. Yeah, you know, now you mention it like that. Yeah, that does make a lot of sense. And I think the moved a mission where you quite literally detonate a nuke in one of the early game towns. <laughs> yeah, that, that's a bit too on the nose. Yeah. yeah, you get you get to nuclear devastate an entire town after the entire world has been nuclearly devastated. So, yeah. why not, right? Because the whole thing with the town is called the town is called Megaton. <laughs> the town. <laughs> yeah, it's called Megaton. Yeah. It's actually based on like it was built around a, a nuke that fell but never exploded. Not, not like a, an inactive dead that just, you know, kind of like didn't work or anything. It's just an active nuke that's just sitting there in the middle of a crater and they built a town around it. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> yeah <I'm... laughs> and what even makes that quest even, even weirder is the reason why you're given to explode it is because some old man living in like some like rich tower <laughs> hates that it's in the view yeah it blocks his view <laughs> so he wants to nuke it that's not I, i'm pretty sure it's not actually that's like his joking he just wanted to nuke megaton because because he wanted to because he's rich and an asshole yeah okay sounds legit hello <laughs> we live in a world where Elon Musk is trying to make people pay eight bucks a month to get verified. This sounds yeah. completely reasonable by comparison. <clears throat> I mean, 
<laughs> like it's extreme, <laughs> but it's like, yo, know what? Yeah, screw people. I don't give a yeah, fuck that. Screw yeah, it. Not, yeah. Like if rich people can get away with whatever they want now, now imagine what rich people can get away with when there's a post-apocalypse. <laughs> yeah, that makes sense. So I'm Let's a use wing play like to get around this confusion effect for a second. As we you... just blow this gecko mod into bits. Yeah. You always gotta oh, laugh in a video game when you run up, and, or like an RPG or something, and you run up to like a bad guy, and they're like, oh, I'll take you out, like you're nothing to me, and you're like, bro, I'm the main character, your life is over. <laughs> like, I'm over to ruin your day. Uh, hold on, in, uh... Also, in that same location, you can uh, get some revenge by essentially getting a uh, uh, unleashing a zombie horde on them. Yeah, you can do that too. I don't know how you would be getting revenge though. The only way that that nuke can blow up is if you blow it up. <laughs> yeah. So you're the bad guy. Uh, oh, man. and the best part is later on you find your dad and your dad's like, why'd you do that? Just like, because it was fun. <laughs> <laughs> and your dad doesn't even so much as be like, I hate you or like, you're a terrible person. He's just like, you shouldn't do that. <laughs> yeah, what the heck? <laughs> Bro, I just nuked an entire town of like 50 the, people I, in I your life. I did the biggest war crime possible with, with the crap, dad. <laughs> and you're like shouldn't do that. Actually, he gets more mad at you if you disarm the nuke. <laughs> yeah, that's how you know he really just wanted to get rid of it. <laughs> like, when you when you tell him that you, you're you like, he's like, I'm very proud of you for disarming the nuke, but you shouldn't put yourself in harm's way like that. <laughs> oh, somehow two people liked our tweet saying we're gonna be live for Digimon World 2. <laughs> Yay! Heck yeah. Yay. Oh wow, we have so many moves to choose from. Holy crap. Oh god. You get noticed. <laughs> Although, uh, Dad, did you watch that Parampa anime video I posted a couple of I don't days think ago? I did yet. I had to get around to it. So we oh, have Crimson you. Claw, which seems really good. Nova yes. Blast. Yes. Ninja Knife Throw. Pepper Breath, mm -hmm. Scissor mm -hmm. Magic, because of course, yes. and Friendly Fire. Friendly Fire, always useful. We've I never guess. used it, but it actually is really good. Hey, we used it once to show if, me how it works. <laughs> if we had better counters that would inflict a stas effect, yes, every time. Like the second you have a rare mon and you can just like force confuse random enemies Everybody, into yes. killing each other? That's amazing. <laughs> that would be very nice. <laughs> Fortunately, that's not how our team is set up. Yeah. <coughs> I feel like I got more use of that in, like, my original playthrough, because I was usually more virus types, but yeah. Well, there's no way of avoiding this one. Uh, let me just pick the normal guys. I didn't like the good guys because they were too good and the bad guys were too edgy. Yeah, this is a good balance in between. The good, <laughs> the bad, and the edgy. <laughs> sure, why not? Let's Crimson Claw you just in case because we get a lot of stats effects off of this. Confuse, stun, and poison, huh? Yes, all of the status effects. All good stuff, all super useful. We'll all be replaced the second we get an AoE. This is true. <laughs> oh wow, this worked out perfectly. Oh yeah, let's use this move like we're carrying that turns off certain skills for this Digimon and kills the Digimon. <laughs> well, that was useful. <laughs> Heck yeah. Also, I like the fact that this Digimon is just like a like an Australian Kiwi with a mask. <laughs> Guess what its name is? <laughs> Kiwi Mon. Uh, I, I was about to say it, but I that's too obvious. <laughs> but of course it was Kiwi Mon. <laughs> of course it is. 
Jeez, and its health is already down by like half. Man, yeah. honestly, I do like Kiwimon though. He is a fun little design. You know, he's a cool little dude. Go back to New Zealand. Damn it, don't tell you that. He'll kick your ass. <laughs> Go back to the Shire. I was about to say, uh, you don't say that, Fossus. It's real Kiwi hours. <laughs> <laughs> and don't screw with kiwis, like, land birds will mess you up. Uh, birds in general will mess you up. Have you ever seen a goose, Canadian goose, man? Those things are f***ing mean. They'll bite you. So let's see, we've got Defense Ray, Fire Blast, and everything else. I and I them. wonder which of these we're gonna use the most often. Honestly, yeah. Thunderball would probably be pretty useful. Like, Thunderball would be really good with Friendly Fire. If only it was on someone other than the guy who has Friendly Fire. Use the superpower of Bright Lights. Use your Dead Lights from Stephen King's It. Just It, yeah. What a dumb superpower. <laughs> also, uh... Another animal you shouldn't fuck with? Fucking honey badgers, man. <laughs> yeah, we Probably watch killing fuck. bites. The honey badgers yeah. are legit. Probably just shouldn't fuck with animals in general. Most of them will kill you. Some of them won't. Some of them definitely will. I still can't believe there's just an episode of Golden Comedy where the entire premise is there is a single honey badger just out in the snow in the forest and it is a monster and it will murder you and it's like crap we gotta get away from that thing <laughs> let's also not forget the best thing about uh fucking go going cotley for when you show me fucking the russian grandma yes <laughs> <laughs> Russian grandma me, who just jumps down off freaking tiger and starts strangling it with a chain. <laughs> That's yeah, the second that. most badass way I've ever seen anyone take take a tiger down. <laughs> Man, I I had to show you the scene from like a recent episode where it's like okay. There's like a dude who's going to save his son, and it's like a really serious situation, you know, it's like his son's being like held hostage. A teams up with the series villain to help him do it. And it's like they're like, okay, well we know where they are, we know what they want, we know their locations, we need to get their ASAP or my kid's going to die. And it's like, alright. They try to go, they try to take the horses. There's like a slope. The horses don't like going downhill. They don't want to go that way. <laughs> so they're like, crap, what now? Why? Oh, because, you know, there's like a steep incline and the horses uh -oh. are like, oh no, not that. Like a really steep incline, obviously. <laughs> yeah, and they're I like, like I was, yeah. I, I was just picturing like a hill. Horses can walk downhill. <laughs> and it's like. <laughs> Okay, well, crap, what do? And, like, the father just comes out. And he's just got, like, this freaking, like, motorized tricycle, basically. Because oh it's the God. turn of the century. And he's Tell like, me you it's, like, really tiny. <laughs> it's kind of small, but it's good enough. And he's like, you want to hop on, let's do this. <laughs> Yeah, riding on my big wheel. <laughs> yeah, they go, they have like a whole like chase sequence. They're like, they're like pulling power turns. They like drift down around a house and like, you know, the villain's like on his back with them. And like in slow motion, it just slows down as they're drifting. And he just looks up at some girls they're passing and just winks at them. Of course. <laughs> <laughs> Like, they have a whole, like, chase scene. There's, like, dudes going after them in, like, a carriage that they have to, like, have a whole shootout with on the road. And they're driving a tricycle this whole time. Yeah, a motorized tricycle, basically. Awesome. <laughs> and it's, like, they finally deal with the guys, and they, like, crash into, like, you know, a bunch of debris, and there's, like, an explosion. And you see out of the smoke cloud, they just fly out, 
It's like legit Samugi is like, yo, his clothes are like shripped up and he's like, yo, his shirt's open and stuff. The father is like, his shirt's just blown off, his like pant legs are blown off. He's basically wearing like booty shorts and suspenders. <laughs> And then they they get off the tricycle and they're all sexy. Yeah, they go through the explosion, they hit the ground, they just keep running. And he's still got the from the bike, and he's just holding it from him as he goes for no reason. (laughs) It makes him feel faster. Yeah. Only one Kenobi has new abilities. We have so many skills. So many skills. (laughs) <laughs> like they they go through they finally get to the place they're supposed to go where it's like the kidnappers are <laughs> they like the father just bursts through the door <laughs> you know he's just got little like bike candle with him still with the wheel and he immediately like goes in and like strikes a pose with it like it's a microphone and plays a guitar riff it's a Freddie Mercury joke <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> I love Freddie Mercury. He's like wearing the outfit and everything. Oh my god, of course he is. <laughs> it's so mustache. just insane and weird and out of nowhere. I love it. Yo, what? Screw it. Screw Gundam. I'm putting Golden Kamui on the thing. <laughs> they were really we running out of names just, here. We need to just like <laughs> No was it? You want ah no. Uh Fustus. Golden Kamui or brand new animal? Which for anime night? Uh <laughs> no, do, do we want the furry show, or do we want the old timey prisoners being weird show? <laughs> Did you roll a dice? Yeah. Which one? Uh, I I was doing like 15 and above for Golden Comedy and everything below for um Brand the other one. Animal. Brand new yeah, animals. Yeah. Uh, and I got 17. So oh, Golden Comedy. <laughs> I don't care, I'm excited, let's do this. This is gonna be high. <laughs> I had to I had to make it like I couldn't come up with a good decision. I had to roll my dice. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, what do I have? What do I have? Oh my D20! <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that's a good way to make decisions, I guess. <laughs> let, the, let the dice decide. I just love it how in a uh, Far Cry Blood Dragon, instead of throwing a rock to like distract the enemies themselves, you throw a fucking like D20. Heck yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, a D20 is way more confusing than a rock. <laughs> yeah. You see a rock just fall next to you, it's like. Oh, okay, yeah, it's just like, you know, must have just fallen from the roof or something. You see a d20, it's like, what the crap is this doing here? And then you get scared when you look down and realize that it's landed on a 20, and you're like, oh shit, who just rolled dice? <laughs> no, it's the opposite. You look down, it's yeah. rolled a nat 1, it's like, what? Uh, oh no. <laughs> just freak out. <laughs> I was gonna say, if, if, he, if you do just want to play a Far Cry game, Far Cry Blood Dragon and stuff, we'll leave all the ones I've ever recommend. <laughs> yes. Yeah, that's pretty jokes. Because, like, because not only does it make a lot of jokes, it's just one big send up to, like, 80s action movies. <laughs> right. Peter, I did. I think I did mention at some point that it's like as we were playing Resident Evil, there's just a dude in Golden Kamui whose entire gimmick is he just like he just loves collecting pistols from defeated opponents, <laughs> and it's nice. like his favorite is the freaking Red Nine. <laughs> The what? <laughs> the freaking Red Nine pistol from like back in the day. Ace oh, just yeah. like 
<laughs> he just got all the red nines just strapped to his body so he could do the pirate thing of just like, yo, just open fire, run out of ammo, switch guns. <laughs> it's so cool. Bro definitely has the love for the Mauser. <laughs> I'll give him that. <laughs> I think how it's like introduces someone like shoots him in the chest and it's like you know, knocks him back a little bit. Just like he's like, ah, that was close. Just opens up his jacket. And he's like, the bullet stopped by one of his freaking like 20 guns. <laughs> I uh, I guess it's, that's that's the, that's the truth behind uh, best best defense is an offense. <laughs> best defense is a wall of guns. <laughs> the best defense is an offense, especially when the offense is actually my armor. <laughs> yeah, that I like. I saw that that I played Resident Evil Four, and it's like, oh yeah, you didn't get the red nine, and I'm like, damn it, I kind of want this now. <laughs> <laughs> Why am I not using this thing? It's so cool, though. <laughs> oh, man. Just, just stars aligned for that one. <laughs> yeah. It's for me. The fact that it also happens to actually be good. Yeah, let's not fight him. The fact that Sounds it also like happens to be legitimately good in that game. <laughs> yeah. And I just, and I, that's something I've always loved, it's just like, out of, like, we have, like, all these modern handguns. What's the strongest, the, old, the oldest gun in the group? Of course. <laughs> yeah, turns out humans are just as susceptible to being shot by, like, black powder pistols as they are to, like, modern handguns. <laughs> like, real crazy how that works. Yeah. And you know, what's even funnier is that one of the guns, the punish, one of the handguns, the Punisher, is based off of the five-seven pistol. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And that gun literally is firing like armor-piercing rounds, and it's still hilarious. Like, oh yeah, this can pierce through body armor, but this is well, the, well, it's because it's it's firing rifle rounds. Yeah. <laughs> it's it's not like it's not just firing normal pistol bullets, it's literally firing a round that's supposed to be in a rifle. You think you're gonna handgun. block this with your wooden zombie shield? Think again. The Red Knight in Resident Evil is like the overpowered old guy trope in the anime, just in the form of a weapon. <laughs> 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 Oh man, should we talk about the actual game for a second? <laughs> but yeah, uh... <laughs> should we? We're killing, we're killing guys. That sure um, is a naughty mod, he looks horrible, I hate him. Yeah, he's terrifying and disgusting. He throws poo, I, I hate it. Yeah, he throws poo and he looks like uh, a testy. He does, doesn't he? <laughs> Yeah. Damn it. <laughs> he looks like <laughs> I got <a> boss tag. <laughs> Is this how you fail No Nut November? <laughs> you just put sunglasses on your balls and it just they just yeah. run off and just do things. You yeah, have released the nut. <laughs> this is how I win no nut. <laughs> it's not how you lose, it's how you win. <laughs> yeah, it's how I win. Because I don't have no nets. <laughs> I mean, that is the game. It's basically like Uno, right? <laughs> <laughs> Which means Lance Armstrong's already at an advantage. We all gotta catch up fast. God damn it. Oh, that was a bad no, taste. I don't care, that wait, was great. That, that, that means all women. <laughs> <laughs> all women immediate. Well, all right. Let's be fair here. <laughs> like, yeah, okay. Ladies out there, you're not exempt to no not November. You you well, all lose. Mean... Yeah. If you if you go, you lose. <laughs> I mean, it's impossible to lose. <laughs> 
I think I saw something that was like the official rules for No Not November. Yeah. I love it. I love it. <laughs> I'm like, what? <laughs> Yeah, it's like, oh yeah, yo, you're not allowed to not, no, not, like, by any means, no sex either. Uh, you can watch porn, just don't get off. And it's like, you're allowed to wet dreams. And it's like, okay, that's an interesting qualifier. <laughs> you're allowed to. You're allowed to. If you have three, get out of it. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> <laughs> it's three strikes, you're out. <laughs> and it's like the end of the rules is just like foul rule, just don't nut. <laughs> okay. Uh, oh man. I can't partake in No Nut November. It would uh, ruin everybody's life. <laughs> I love that, like, the internet is such a weird, insane place that, like, people have started petitioning for the opposite of the less popular but still a thing nonstop Nut November. Oh. <laughs> I've, I've heard of, uh, uh, Destroy D December. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, yeah, I've heard of that. Me too. <laughs> Man, someone like posted a video that got recommended to be on Twitter because Twitter's been freaking weird right lately. Like even weirder than normal. It's insane. It was just like some video tagged No Nut November, and it's just like a bunch of cheerleaders at a football game like doing their routine, and one of them storms off. And like, you know, someone just goes up to a security guard and they say something, and he just jumps into the line in the formation, just takes their place, just does the dance with them as the lead, and just kills it. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm just like, yo, this is really good. Why is this tagged No Nut November? I don't get it. That doesn't make sense. I don't what? know why, but I'm glad I saw it. I guess, yeah. <laughs> like, he had those moves down. Dude was killing it. <laughs> oh, it was great. Everyone loved it. Everyone clapped, actually. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. If only we had a water move for this area. Oh well. Ow. It's a too bad we don't have a giant whale to fight with right now. A giant whale? Yeah, that'd be sick. Whale! That'll be a deal of a time. <laughs> What? What a thing, cook joke. I was, I was going for like a Chip and Dale live action joke. No, I get it. I get it. I literally thought Peter was making a, a, a Dane Cook joke with the, the Oprah Winfrey thing. Everybody gets a well. You get a car, and you get a car, and you get a car, and you get a car. Everybody get a car. <laughs> Whales for everybody, it like rains down Baja plushes. You get it's a like whale, the little you shark. Get a, you get a whale. You get a whale shark. <laughs> I was like, Jesus walks in, she's like, Whales for everybody, it's just raining down shark plushies. <laughs> <laughs> I'm pretty sure like Dane Cook doing that Oprah joke. That's probably where that joke originated. I heard from my brother originally. Mm -hmm. I, I think it was Dane Cook. I could be right. It could have been another comedian. I just, for some reason, I remember Dane Cook. I remember I'm, listening to him do it. I'm never going to get over the freaking video of Oprah just like opening a box and it's just full of CGBs and everyone is screaming in terror. <laughs> yeah. And she's like doing a little dance. <laughs> the edit of her like, 
helicopter or something and it's just a bunch of bees. <laughs> oh, hey, we got fire blast. It's like a thing we can shoot at people. <laughs> cool. <laughs> Laser. It's a really fun word to say. Laser oh, beam. <laughs> Laser Somehow, miraculously, beam. we are not high right now. <laughs> Spike yourself. I, I know your concerns. Don't worry. We're yeah. good. What's the, uh... Although, definitely one of the post-Marine 2 movies. I'm definitely gotta put the... I definitely gotta put Austin Powers on the list. I definitely gotta put Austin Powers on the movie night. Oh, uh, heck yeah. You know what? No, you can't do that, because that'd be a movie we'd actually like. Yeah, we'd all want to watch that one. <laughs> yeah, you can't break hey, your I streak of intentionally recommending horrible movies. Yeah, you have to, you have to keep me doing this terrible, terrible wrestling movie. <laughs> and you know what? One of these times you're actually gonna recommend a good one. They live, and I'm gonna be like, no, we can't watch that. It's you know, now I'll, I'll take that back. The Jake the Stick documentary was pretty good, and the like behind yeah. the matter were, yeah, those were pretty good. Yeah, yeah. Beyond the map, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Still though, yeah. Outside of that, like, come on, why can't we watch Zeno you know, Evil too? <laughs> Yeah, come on, Peter, what's wrong with you? Which apparently is supposed to be better than the first one, which can't be much better because that was fucking Jeez. trash. <laughs> the movie I... where the random shot of bugs just having sex was the most interesting yeah. part of the film, unironically. Yeah. Oh, and the guy that kind of looked like you. <laughs> yeah. The guy that Cav looked like me for some reason and was like wearing the exact same shirt I was on that day. <laughs> In high school, yeah. <laughs> Jeez, what a weird freaking like. Yeah, the 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 one that it would have been on scarier. Candy. If they, he looked like if they just like me in high school. <laughs> like, so the 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 main murder villain that just rips off Jason Voorhees and would have been much better if they just kept Kane with his mask on. I can't believe they called it See No Evil Two because he takes people's eyes because they sin or whatever, so they can see no evil. Yeah, what was also up about this thing about, like, him having some people with religious tattoos or something, I guess. Yeah, he, he really liked that girl's cross tattoo, even though it was meant to be, like, an ironic, like, yeah. thing. Yeah. Yeah, she I, really I don't think that he understood the irony that looks of, like, like she like... got it that day. Yeah, it, it's like the type of tattoo where it's like you're not really into religion, but it just looks cool, so you get it. It's like a thing, you know? <laughs> it literally does look, though, like that ink was fresh on her. Like, she just yeah. got that tattoo finished. <laughs> and then got thrown into jail somehow. By the way, this entire movie is surrounded by a bunch of juvenile delinquents. Listen, man, when you want to make a Dead by Daylight movie and you don't have the budget for generators, you have to find other tasks for them to do. <laughs> what were they even trying to do in that movie? They're trying to clean the house. <laughs> They're trying to clean the house, which... Oh, that's never... a troll. <laughs> Wait, hold on. The I treasure chest did nothing. Yeah, had nothing. I just want this look at that old lady invited them there to clean the house and then they never clean the house. Crap, I should have saved Stan before going to this floor. Oh. Crap, this is the floor he appears on. Yeah. I said. I assume that you have I'm assuming you probably watched the Resting with a guard review and see no evil. I think you were there, Faustus. I have <laughs> not seen it. I, like, one viewing of that movie was enough for me for a good bit. Uh, no, I would actually recommend you watch his, his, his review. might cause you a bit of sanity to come back. Nah, it's already <laughs> gone. It's too late for that. Yep. And, yeah, I think he says something about, like, the second one's supposed to be better or whatever. I'm like, I doubt it. 
<laughs> I, I press up to doubt. Yeah. It's a hard. Whoa, what happened? I hit up oh. to doubt. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, hey god, I should actually like uh Yeah, that's so hard. <laughs> there we go. Wait, did that actually change the like aspect ratio of the thing? Uh, no, not on the stream, but you did like pause it for us. We were like, wait, what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> I turn her because I keep being like, oh yeah, I'll press up to doubt, click, and it's like, oh right, my keyboard actually does stop. I thought it was press X to do, and isn't F to pay your spanks? Is it press X to- I always heard press up yeah, to do. Yeah, it's gonna... Well, uh, it, it, the meme is from, uh, L.A. Noir, so it's X. Yeah, Wait, no, is it- yeah. no, is it I think from, it's cause, like... Cause they're, uh, far, they're... Nah, they maybe I am getting mixed up, yeah. Yeah, because it, it's Call of Duty that's press F to pay your specs. Yeah, I've never heard press X to yeah. doubt. Yeah. yeah. That's but, uh, wild. Press F to pay your specs was from uh, Call of Duty Advanced Warfare. <laughs> yeah, which had um, uh, Troy Baker and that one guy that's really popular from House of Cards. All I know yeah. is that, like, Conan O'Brien used to do Let's Play sections on his show, and there's one where they did that bit, just to, like, have him blind react to it. And he's like, what the crap is this? <laughs> I, I like that every time they did that bit, he's just like, oh yeah, I don't play video games, I don't care about video games, I don't think I really like video games, I think I might just hate them. Let's do <laughs> <Yeah>. this. <laughs> Yeah, I'm, I'm just... It's like, how was that? And, and uh, eh, if, like, you know, raising my hand up is, like, a good, and, like, moving it to the side is a bad, then it's a, it does the little, like, weird finger thing. Where it's uh, like, you know, you're, like, yeah. you detach your thumb, and he's like, yeah, it's, it's this. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's like, that's your rating. <laughs> Uh, I, I, I liked his one. Uh, he did, um, he did Halo 3, which was really funny because he found himself. Jeez. Because <laughs> him and uh, his co-hosts, they're like, they have a conversation in that game and as like two <laughs> marines that you can just wander up to. So he found himself and was like, who's this guy? <laughs> <laughs> or, um... When he was playing The Witcher, and then like uh, uh, Geralt and Yennefer are knocking boots, and, he, and uh, he's like, "Ho ho, get out of here!" Get the guy um, out of here. Yeah, oh, there's one where he does like the evil within one, and the, it's like the part where you get trapped by the butcher, and he's like, "Ah, oh, the grossest part of this is the fact that he's like naked in that apron. He's not wearing any pants at all. That's disgusting." <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I remember I was also watching his follow. Yeah, he dressed out in a, uh, he dressed up in a full on like vault suit. Oh, <laughs> that's said, fun. I yeah. said one eleven on it. He even had the Pit Boy from the like collector's edition thing. I was like, <laughs> this guy got decked out. Yeah. He, he comes onto his set from climbing like above, making it look like he's coming onto the set like it's a Fallout shelter. <laughs> I was like, he went far up for this one. Like, yeah, still wild to think that guy used to write for The Simpsons in like their golden years, right? That back when The Simpsons was funny. Yeah, there was like commentary tracks out, like you know, directors and stuff being like, oh yeah, we'd be in like the writers' room and he'd just be doing like weird, random, goofy bullcrap off to the side. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Have you ever watched uh, him and his, I think it's like his assistant producer or something, um, Jordan Shalansky? <laughs> they always fight with each other. It's so funny. Jeez. Like the dude shows up late and, uh, and like Conan, Conan's sitting in his office waiting for him and he's like, what do I pay you for? This stream is for nobody. <laughs> we're, I know. We, we're going from like retro Digimon to the most like obscure anime bullcrap 
to gaming news to Conan O'Brien. Yeah, yeah, to like dump it all over the fucking place. <laughs> next, next thing we're gonna talk about is like I don't know. <laughs> So you hear what's going on in the news these days? Yo, you hear out what's going no, on with it. Russia? It's bad. Yeah. That's that's well, the news. Okay, it's bad. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it sucks. <laughs> Crap isn't good. <laughs> and the latest news that's coming out of Russia today is it sucks. Moving on. <laughs> Just hard cut to some Ukrainian family like, oh, <laughs> oh, dang. This was I thought they were going to talk about me. <laughs> I'm imagining the opposite scenario. It's like, oh yeah, do we get the snow day? And they just like listen to the radio. It's like news Ukraine is crap's bad, and they're like, oh, uh -huh. like they didn't know before. <laughs> oh, oh, that's what all the bombings go. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> Come, kids, let us check the war warning. <laughs> it's like there's hearing explosions in the back. Oh, this is so dumb. <laughs> like, kids, when I was growing up, there were bombs. I was setting them off, but you know. Oh, wait, he does have nice Remojimon with him. Holy crap. <sighs> okay, My uh. God. No! We're so far back now! Wait, where was- where are we? Oh no! <laughs> I just hit a bud! <laughs> oh my we, god, we, dude, we you sent us back right? like, <coughs> I don't remember, you just sent us back like three days? Or three sessions. Are you, are you fucking serious? <laughs> yeah! Dude, this is back like, before we met Ben Oldman. Well, this is my comeuppance for trying to cheat. I I deserve this. <laughs> we we did save, right? I really fucking hope we did. I don't think we did. Oh no! <laughs> Please. Damn it! You're distracting me with news on Ukraine. <laughs> don't. Oh my god. Uh, Peter, you there? I think we legitimately just lost all the progress we made on the stream. <laughs> okay, so hear me out. I feel really fucking bad about this. I don't want you guys to suffer through my mistake. <laughs> Should we call it a night and I'll just, like, just blitz through this crap on my own? I, I um, don't know what to do. Uh, yeah, I'm not too sure. I uh, know, if you want to stick by, we can just go through again, but I mean, like, yeah, it's, it's gonna be what you expect. Yeah, I'm gonna... Have a good stream before <laughs> this happens. Yeah, I was gonna bounce in, like, half an hour anyway. Oh god, how far back are we? I think where we were. I think the last time you saved was literally at the end of the last session we did, so... Why do I- I feel like we might have saved after we talked to Ben Oldman, though. Wait, what? Wait, where's Thing? Wait, what the fuck? What? What? All, all everything's everything's gone. We are all the way back at the very beginning. Oh my fucking god! Oh, oh my what fucking god! Digimon? What are our Digimon? I can't believe I did this. I can't. Oh no! Oh no! Oh, Laboon! <laughs> Boone, Moxley, and the King. So hear me out. <laughs> Fuck this game. Uh. <laughs> Dude, 
<laughs> Do how dedicated are we to beating Digimon World 2 specifically? Can we just say we did it? <laughs> we sure can if we want to. There are no rules here. <laughs> Digimon Wait, World we? 3 awaits. It is a better game. <laughs> so, I'm lost and something happened to our save. <laughs> yeah, our you, save. Have you not uh, been watching the thing? <laughs> No, I, I, you, you, I'm watching our stream on, on Twitch right now. Oh my god, I, Rat went down because like, um, alright, Peter. Peter, no. Peter, listen. We got Bro. nothing. We went back like three sessions. We went back like three, maybe even four sessions because we had what? How Which dedicated means... are we to, <laughs> you know, like, this going was... back through all of this bullshit just to beat Digimon World <laughs> 2 specifically? Oh my god! We don't have to fucking do that quest again, do we? Oh crap, we have to. Because, like, no, wait, you know are, this is where a certain- I don't even know what we're doing right now. Yeah. We might still be searching for the archive ship. Cause we don't have archive domain. I I thought I was hitting the right button. I I didn't know. Oh my god, we're fucked up me. I I need a judgment call, guys. Listen, I listen, think... listen. <laughs> we could just give up on the game right now. I don't think anyone would blame us. And we could just, we could just be like, you know what? Next week, we'll just do Digimon World Three. Uh, I almost feel like at this point, yeah, because I, uh, that's like, that's why I'm leaning towards. Cause fuck this. All of the angering bits that we just got through, we just went back, and now we have to do them again. Peter. <laughs> Honestly, I agree with you guys. I think we should just go to Digimon World 3. Do you know when this was? This was when I ate my victory cat. <laughs> no, this was past that. This was past know, that. But least, like, but this like, is yeah. surely like past that. But still, like, oh, that was geez. like a month ago. Oh, I well, I guess been... see you guys back here next week for Digimon World 3. Uh, I, I guess if you want to see the rest of World 2, I've got streams of that on the channel. Yeah. I've already played through this game, so you could just watch. <laughs> Listen, <laughs> all we're missing is you go to Foul Island and you see Gigi Mon again. Oh, Gigi Mon, look, I did it twice. And there is a line <laughs> where we go to fight Crimson, and he escapes, and we go and find him again. And yo, he's like runs off, and your character is like, yo, damn you, Crimson! I'll hunt you down like the dirty dog you are. Arf. <laughs> are you? He said arf. Yes, he says arf. I'll hunt you down like the dirty dog you are. A R F. Arf. <laughs> Hunt you down like the dirty dog you are. <laughs> no, you are like exclamation point. Like you are exclamation. Arf? Yeah, like he's literally doing a dog noise. <laughs> I think I think we broke Bustus, <laughs> and I was broken a long time ago. Uh -huh. Delete. 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 <laughs> So, yeah, <laughs> you know what this reminds me of? What? When I lost all of my files. Or... <laughs> okay. <laughs> this is the second time I've run into this problem today. <laughs> but yeah, this is the end of the Digimon World 2 playthrough. <laughs> <laughs> See you next Thursday, and no, I don't care what that sounds like for Digimon World 3. <laughs> Bye, y'all. Bye. <laughs>